BlurEvents.com, your college baseball and football tailgate destination. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. It's time to spring into performance in a new Acura from Acura of Omaha. While they last, choose from 50 new Acuras in stock, Integras, TLXs, RDXs, and MDXs. Acura of Omaha, always open at acuraofomaha.com. Howdy, Greg Wagner joining you from the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Time now for another Nebraska Outdoor Update. Say there's a lot to do this season in Nebraska's outdoors. There's always hiking in the state parks. There's bird watching. There's trout stream fishing action. There's scouting for that spring wild turkey hunting trip. And there's looking for shed deer antlers in your favorite woods. So there's no reason to be a couch potato, is there? No. Get outdoors and enjoy. Well, it's time. Time to get all your new permits and stamps for hunting, fishing, fur harvesting, and state parks. Time to check your motorboat registration for renewal. Time to make those cabin and camping reservations in the A crossover is crossover dribble. Sing for the crossover. Kyrie Irving. Crossover in the lane. One of the most famous crossovers of all time. Behind the back, an ankle breaker on Chris Paul. Crossover. Crossover. Crossover continues to evolve. Time for the crossover part by Everlow Country Fair in Omaha at everlowcountry.com. Wait. Tim Legler is really tan. There's something going on with his hair, too. I think it's makeup. The, the side angle, makeup. well, that he's he's kind of been doing that, but the side angle that we've seen him at lately on the left side of his face, there's something with the hairline on the side. He's just glowing from the pride of being an Omaha racer. Oh, yeah. It never leaves you. Do we miss the Omaha racers? Yes. Kind of. I do. I do not know of them. I do miss them. Yeah, because you would have been too young. Yeah, this is yeah. past. This is this is before my time. I'm a young boy. It was a cheap ticket. It was family fun. You got to see some players that you would recognize. Are you? Did you ever go to a Lancer game at Exarban Coliseum? No, I only went to them at the Civic. Okay. The they, last they year played at the, the Civic for a moment, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they, they went to America Center, then Civic. downtown, and then yeah. to Ralston. They what was it? Gosh, when was their last year at the Coliseum? I, th I might have still been in high school. I don't, I, I, I never went to, I had never been to the Exarbon Coliseum. Cause I remember seeing them at the mid America center. I was probably maybe 22 or 23. So I bet their last year, of the Coliseum was, I probably was still in high school. Uh, so like I 96, did 97. When I was doing the Lincoln stars in the late nineties, we were still at Exarbon Coliseum. Okay. That, that sounds about Lincoln right. Omaha yeah. Rivalry. Yeah. I bet about like 90, 97, 98. When did the Exarbon Coliseum uh, close its doors? 99. 2000 maybe? That's what I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be right there. Because um, when they tore down the track, everything went. Yep. 
uh, demolished October eighth, two thousand four. Okay, closed so, the- September two thousand two. Okay. Oh. So yeah, I mean that's probably right around the time I started going to like sports games. Then you had the River City Lancers. I was around. Could call them Omaha and they're playing the Council Bluffs. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Omaha that was, Knights. It was weird. Omaha Knights, Omaha Knights, Omaha Racers, Omaha Lancers. Yeah. Okay. So I went to a couple. Gosh, I'm a. I might have been there once or twice. I'm not sure. I don't remember it. That's for sure. It, it wasn't had, memorable. It was obstructed view seating because they had poles. Yeah, those beams that came and down. And they had yep. uh, one end was uh, blocked out by a curtain. The, nice. They had a stage, and yep. that's where the locker rooms were. Yep. Love a good beam. Yeah, there were some beams that came down. Light the beam, they said back mm-hmm. in 2001. Yeah. They're saying it now. Do you want to get on Team Sacramento, at least for the play-in today? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> You're still on Team Nugget? Yes, okay. I am still on Team Nugget. I mean, what's the what's the playing situation today what are we doing sacramento's at new orleans there is no zion but there is no malik monk and there is no kevin herter for my team and bulls heat. heat and then and then it's heat in the bulls and jimmy no, butler. no jimmy butler no and, and no yeah. terry rogier but they got kobe white he's going uh, off caruso's got a really bad ankle but uh you can get into king's pelicans for 12 dollars. gonna need four whoa really tyler hero king's 12, pels 12 bucks 12 bucks at the smoothie center for a playoff game Kind of. It is, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, ish. Playoff game ish. Kind of. It's fine. And then uh game one start on Saturday. Uh Nuggets over the Lakers in four or five. That's the only question. Uh, uh I'll, I'll go five. Five. I'll five, go five. Gentlemen sweep. Okay. I'll give yeah. one. Uh Cavs Magic is a series. Suns T Wolves is a series. Sixers Knicks is a series. Mm-hmm. They all start uh, I, Saturday. I don't know who my team's playing. You yeah, don't. you get the luxury of waiting. Like, That's all right, which one of you losers wants to take us on? <laughs> I think you'll be that playing. Will be a sweep. I think you'll be playing basketball for a couple of months here. Yeah, that God, be, I sure hope so. That will be a sweep too. Ah, uh, don't let Jason Tatum touch that thing. <laughs> Choker, yep. Choker. Can't do nothing in the playoffs. I'm aware. Full question up. Do you love a good beam? <laughs> good one. <laughs> they did. They had obstructed view seating. Yeah. Like, I, like I, think I, a, I think when you were walking up in the, because they had the bull shape uh, stands, I think by the time you got like to the eighth row is where the beam started. Kind of like Wrigley Field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I sat behind yeah. a beam at Wrigley you, once. You, you can find a good Ooh. beam at an old school ballpark. Did you, sure. did you know that them. you were going to be slightly obstructed? Was Absolutely that not. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. So I moved down. We, mo- we moved down and we did it a little under the radar. So we were able to do that. Fen- Fenway's goes, got some, Fenway's got some beams too. We were down that left field light, like it goes way, way back. Yes, way back. We were pretty far back, and then we just decided, ah, eh, had a couple beers. Let's move down. Let's see if we could challenge some people. No they one's sitting us, there. They, they let us right in. Yeah, close to the Bartman area actually is where. Oh, we, even better. Where we Hello. moved to. Did you ever uh, take a picture in the Bartman seat? I did not. I did not. But I definitely looked for it. I one, took a picture of myself. One of the day. games I was at, it was ten eh, ish years after. I saw a bunch of people posing like they were. You have to. That, and, I mean, I, yes, yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, that's lame. Why is it lame? I think because, it's cool because I'm sure it had already been done many, many times. Of course it had been. Of course it. But some of the tour, like you but have to do some of the tourist. If you things. go see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, you're gonna do the, yeah. the, the thing where you're, you're trying to hold yeah, it up. Totally, totally. Yeah. totally. That is true. That's if you go to New York for the first time, I, I, you gotta go to Times. Square. I guess I didn't realize the Bartman seat had that type of uh, yeah. that type of endless pull, no matter what generation you're in. It's yeah, like you got to do it if you're there. What are some other famous MLB ballpark spots? Just like uh, spots like where weird involved. things have happened. Yeah. What would we go mm. to? Pesky Pole. Yeah, they, uh, Pesky Pole is Pesky one. Pole. So Pesky at pole. the at the Metrodome, mm. then the Target Field, they have where the Harman, baggy. Well, but they have where Harmon Killebrew hit his home run. So yes, they okay. had the seat actually from the Met that they put up at Mall of America. It's on the wall yeah, by uh, yeah. Snoopy. Yeah. But well, they, if you you take the log ride, you can get a real close look at it. I love the log ride <laughs> at the Mall of America. <laughs> never. You love the Mall of America. I don't like you? the Mall of America. Yeah. I like the Mall of America as well, but yeah. I've never been. I've never oh, really right done anything in Camp Snoopy. <laughs> right by Bubba Gump Strip, you go, you can look at all, if you're on the log ride and you see the big Paul Bunyan and he's like, you know, waving at you all weird animatronic Paul Bunyan. And then you come out a little bit and then you see all the people dining with their fine dining at Bubba Gump Shrimp. And then you could see that chair and then you go, wee <laughs> down and get a little wet. I feel like anytime the Mall of America is brought up, you just, I get excited. You do. I, I get excited. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What else would there be? Uh, they had it marked at, uh, at the K for a long time when Moose went over the rail and the dugout. Yeah. When but it, it was in the, uh, it was in the, you know, the, the dugout suite. 
right? And so they, I, I went to a game there the next year, and they still had the tape up on the wall. It said, "Be it's there's a sign that already exists there. It says bats and balls may fly in here, and then it says and moose <laughs> <laughs> with a piece of tape. I believe they took that down. And Bill Moose, sad. Uh, and, and Monument, Bill Monument moose. Park at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I, oh, I went. Yeah. I went to the old one. Haven't been to the new one yet. Um, that's that's a good one. But like, okay, now we're getting into actual like landmarks, like you know. But talking about where, like where things specific, have happened. Yeah. Guys went into the crowd. How about uh, in right field at Yankee Stadium when the guy in the Orioles game in ninety whatever that was took the home run? The child. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, what was his name? What yeah. Was it ninety seven somewhere around there? That sounds right. He reached over the fence and grabbed yeah. the home, grabbed the ball. What was that little? I'm trying to think of the kid's uh, name. Uh, little punk. We, we used to be able to <laughs> right off the little yeah. vandalist. Uh, do you think they have the seat at Fenway Park marked where the guy threw the pizza? Jeffrey Mayer. Oh, Jeffrey good Mayer. one. So the the game because that was an anniversary a couple of days ago. Yeah, is where a uh, player came diving into the stands and the guy threw a piece of pizza at him. I would. How about the <laughs> how about the ballpark cop? The the the, the yes. bullpen cop. He always standing there with his arms raised. Do that, but you got to get special access to get there. Uh, how about the, how about at the Oakland Coliseum where that guy was enjoying a nice little afternoon, uh, delight upstairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go sit up there. We got to do picture. it, honey. It's tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how you have to enjoy games there. Is that, the, have row, it. Is that the row on singles night? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they probably closed that section off. There's no reason to sit See, up there. That's a, I wish that promotional idea, um, would have blown up of, so I want I did singles night and it was every other seat like guy girl guy girl, so you didn't know you know you're you're going to be inevitably sitting next to somebody from the opposite sex. That's cool, that's cool. And then who knows the kiss cam might come your way. Yeah. Right? Oh, I I think that's probably they do that intentionally. No doubt. No doubt. See who's been having a good time. Every time you go to a Royals game and there's like ten thousand people there, every single time without fail, there's people in the top 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 row. Like, what are you doing up there? You don't have to be up there. They're like, I just I, come on down. Yeah. But, but you never as a little kid like want to to go all the way up and see what it looks like. Well, I was I too wasn't scared. afraid of heights as a young kid. Now I'm yeah. like, yeah, I was too scared. Yeah, what, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what is that part steep? of what, what part of my life did I really start to get a little shaky in the legs when it came to heights? Because I it never phased me at all. Now yeah. it's like it's always been there. Uh, we at the Grand Canyon. I was looking down, going up to the like the rail, which is about waist high, so I'm fine. But Ooh. even then, I'm looking down like, okay, I'm gonna. Well, step when back. I went to Pittsburgh at the mountain there that looks over the city, Mount the, Washington. Mount Washington, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't That's get weird. that close to the. I don't know when. That so you changed. could never live up there in the neighborhood. No, no, no. okay, no, no, no. And take the now, little, take the little cable car down to the city. Yes. I just uh, don't know when it changed. Have you been to a, a ball game with the White Sox? A guaranteed rate. Yes, I have. Okay, but so I sat I would, in the in the lower bowl. Oh, <laughs> that's up there. I've only been there a hand, uh, twice. I will never ever again sit in the upper deck. They even cut steep. off. They mm. even cut off twenty rows or so up Ooh. there. Yeah, it's like dangerous. Yeah, yeah, oh well, yeah. I mean, you're thinking if you're coming down the stairs, if you like start the bathroom and yeah, you, you like start slip, rolling, you're done. Yeah, you're you're going all the way home. See you later. Um. Uh, Dave writes in. He says, "Don't the Rockies have a row of purple seats at that's right, fifty two eighty mile high? Mile yeah. high, yes, they do. For whatever Always reason, open. When, when I went up there to the top of um, of Coors Field, like that one didn't bother me that much. Could have been other factors that led to that, but it didn't bother me that much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Even I, I've been at like the third uh, the third deck of a Top Golf." And when you, Ooh, and when you, you line hit it, that shot, yeah, you hit the shot. You, yeah. Your weight is completely on the back because you're just like, I'm anchoring but down you, here. You think to yourself, you're like, <laughs> there's no way you're going to fall. But uh, yeah, if I did, I, I've never hit a shot where my momentum pulled me right, forward that but, much. But this would be the time that it would happen. Yeah. If, the, that, if there was ever a time, it'd be now. And that net's not going to catch and me. And I don't trust that net. Nope. I don't either. No. I've been top row at Arrowhead. Ooh, I have too. That's a long there. time ago, though, before it didn't really Jordan loves uh, girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. No, no, that's a bit of a better story. I wonder what the highest row that, it, from ground to top of the stadium is in professional sports. Well, let's think. Of th so the top row in Ann Arbor, even with a hundred thousand plus, is not very high. No, up. you're just yeah, far away, and and, and um, that same you kind of you you it sinks in. So when you come in there, it's yeah, it's down. So that wouldn't bother me. Now, how about how about East the, Stadium Memorial Stadium? Yeah, the six hundred level is uh, way up there. Mm -mm, not going up there, never. People are like, oh, the view is great. I don't care. Uh, 
Doesn't matter. Knoxville looks like you're a long way away. I'll tell you where and Bryant Denny and uh, Tuscaloosa, that oh, that yeah. top that those last rows look like you are miles away mm -hmm. from the football field. Yes. Yes. Um, what about like the Superdome? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You'd have to probably go to an older stadium when they built them so big. Yeah. And they just put, yeah, sections on sections on sections. Yeah, Dodger, they, we want to could. expand this more. Let's Dodger Stadium is way up there. Dodger Stadium. Even though Dodger Stadium is kind of below ground. Like Dodger Stadium, to me, the first time I went there was really weird. As you're walking, as you park, you know, they got the circular parking all, yeah. all around the stadium. You walk up to the entrance. Like you walk up a hill to uh, get to the entrance. Wait, where is this at? Dodger Stadium. Okay, Dodger. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Don't want to deal with that. Uh, Andrew writes in. This is a good one. Uh, pictures in the Malice at the Palace section. Would you go down and take a selfie of oh, yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And hit, and hit your buddy or yeah, somebody. Do a, do a fake yeah. punch pose. That's yeah. a great and, one. And have a jersey that says our test on it. <laughs> yeah. That would be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. That's a good call. Uh, Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Sean writes in, I've had tickets in row 15 in section 611 East stadium since it opened. That's the last row in East stadium. Best seats I've ever had. Mm. <sighs> Ooh. Mm -mm. They don't like heights, but no, that is a, that is a generally a, uh, across the board people that have seats there. They love it. They love it. Yes. Well, one, because you get your own escalator up there yep you basically have limited bathrooms for just the people that are there mm -hmm. okay it's easy in and out access the vomitories aren't packed when you're <laughs> trying to get to your seats yeah there's just less people over yeah. there now that they fix the lights where the bugs are not a problem early on in the year mm. for night games oh nice yeah the led lights i have uh wyoming at seven thousand two hundred fifteen. Feet. Okay, but that's uh, just that, elevation. That's just yeah, the elevation. elevation. Yeah, it's not. I'm for, thinking not ground. Not I'm yeah. thinking. Top. I'm thinking field of play uh -huh. to top. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that and list and is out there. And their stadium isn't very. I mean, they're what thirty thousand. Yeah, yeah, it's not particularly big. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm I, I, now. Comes to I would say I've never been up there, but the end zones at Penn State. Ooh, yeah, that's, you are a ways yep. away. Yeah. And it makes it worse when you're like the only person up there too for summer. Like it, I could, I can maybe deal with it at Penn State. You know, they're usually yeah. pretty full, mm -hmm. so like there's people around. Yeah, if they're not going off the back edge, so I'm not going off the back if, edge. If you feel like you can move around a little bit too, is yeah, it's see, I, that's what makes it worse for me. Really, it's the okay. it's the open air. It's, oh, okay. it's it's the open air. So you, if there's nothing around me and I feel like a gust of wind could take me out. <laughs> I know it's irrational. I understand. As, as opposed to having some windbreak next to you with people. I get it. I get it. I completely understand oh, the, that it's the, irrational. The fear of heights, it's, again, it hits you at, a, at an older age. There's no question. All those fears are completely illogical for the most part. Yeah. The percentages of those actually happening are so small, yet that little percentage that doesn't, yeah, that I, it exists I, I is enough. I, logic does not apply yeah. to me being scared of heights. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Paul writes in, he says, didn't. Doesn't Fenway have a seat marked in right field? Isn't that a Ted Williams home run? Didn't he? Wasn't the legend that he hit it 550 feet or something like that or 600 feet or something? Isn't there something there? Yeah. Um, he also mentions um, the Sky Dome in Toronto, now known as the Rogers Center. Yeah. That's, I mean, the the dome, the, the dome lids too, seeing the monstrosities of the dome lids. Yep. I sat pretty high at, uh, Miller Park once, yeah, and that bothered me a little bit. Miller Park behind home plate, which but which I think is one of the best seats, is in the upper deck behind home plate. Um, but Miller Park extended up does appear to be pretty high. Yeah, it's it's up there. That that's for sure. I so I sat in the section right below Bernie's slide, mm -hmm. and you look up to Bernie's little perch up there, and you got to walk the stairs to take up there. I'm oh like, yeah, and you're thinking about Bernie. How do you do? Yeah, that you're thinking day? about Bernie doing that. And he's uh, yeah. like, nope. I don't want to do that. If they asked me, it's like it'd be a great honor, Bernie, for me to take the slide oh, down I, with you, I, but I'm not doing it. When I'm I can sorry. visibly see cameramen like walking the catwalk up yeah. on some of those places, like, what are you doing? Ooh, yeah. A lot of hockey arenas where you have to walk yeah. the catwalks yep. Yep. and the because nope. the press box is just hanging. No, nope. uh, do that. Brad says, uh, what about NASCAR tracks? See, do those go high or do they more just go out? I, that's why I thought they, as high. They yeah, they look like they spread more out. Yeah. Like even Daytona. Does not go up super high. Well, and in that case, you'd it, like to be for far back because at you can the see uh, yeah. Indianapolis yeah. Motor Speedway, 
it does not go up super high. It's just so expansive. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Uh, well, Bristol. So Bristol, Tennessee has over 100,000 seats, but it doesn't go up super high. Right. Because there's so many friggin' seats. It's a small uh, track. Let's see. Talladega is this weekend. I knew that. It's a have. short track. Talladega is big super speedway. Yes. I mean, no Got restrictor plates. Or, yeah, restrictor plate race no this weekend. Restrictor plates. Who you, who you like? Uh, Chase uh, Elliott, back to back. Look at that. Nice. Nice. I, th I, I saw that he won last I week. Was <laughs> I was going to say, go, give me Dale Jr. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's not going anymore, is he? <laughs> no. Okay. No. I do know. Why that do well race enough. car drivers retire, by the way? Like, what's stopping them from continuing to push the pedal? Fear of death? Oh, I don't know. Your reaction, yeah, but your gonna, reaction you time slows at, down. You could die at 24, too. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I, I think, think it's your reaction uh, time. It is. You It's all so jarring drive. on your body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. But you still got the need for speed. Why not just keep going? <laughs> well, so, like, some guys never, like, some Jimmy simulators. Johnson retired and then still dabbles in it. Yeah. But on the, on the, like, the dirt tracks, right? Well, he, uh, so he went and Let's drove, drove fast Indy in the interstate for a bit. Mm. And then he... I think he drove one uh, NASCAR race last year. I don't know that their schedule is crazy. Uh, I think as you get up there in age, I would just, you know, the instincts. Yeah, yeah. The instincts and the reaction time, I think would just naturally slow down to you wouldn't be as on point as you were in your prime, but it also beats the heck out of your body. I mean, you're in a it car does. that you're just being jarred from left mm -hmm. to right, front and center for four hours nonstop. So many G's. That's like me in this radio show every day. <laughs> Your body's taking just, a beating. Yeah, the the whole time. It's like it's gotta, like fight, gotta fight it off. It's like jumping on the Timberwolf. Is, is the Timberwolf <laughs> a thing still at, at I, Worlds of Fun? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that the, that's the wooden one, right? Uh, yep, that was the last roller coaster I rode. I think I was in my early 20s, and it it hurt. Uh, yeah, go ahead. We gonna read Amazing Daniel. Yeah, go for it. So your fear of heights makes the plane landing hubris even stranger. East Stadium is too scary, but I'll be fine coming in at 200 miles an hour as the ground approaches my face. <laughs> First of all, if you're going 200 miles an hour, if you're landing, it's too fast. <laughs> coming in too hot. You're coming in way too hot. You're going to overshoot that runway. You're going to be in bad shape. <laughs> FAA is going to be all over you. Um, and uh, I've said before, I'm not scared of planes at all. I'm like, not either. Yeah, you don't get scared. Like no, if you're even, yeah, yeah. even 15,000 feet up and you can still see the ground and identify things, you're not like, oh, my God. Right. No, because it's the, it's the open air piece. I'm in no fear that the yeah. plane is going to. Well, maybe I should be that the plane is going to open up and there's going to be like a convertible. Right. Again, situation. It, it makes it <laughs> unless you're on. It makes no sense. Unless you're on a specific airline and a specific hey. plane on that yeah. airline. Hey. Yeah. Shout out to those people that put their Boeing life in like danger that. to go follow Creighton in Nebraska. They hopped on a Boeing. Yeah, there was go to the I, East Coast. I, down after south. Boeing, guys. I was on several several Boeings, and none of the none of the windows ripped out. Well, That's good. There was one that happened. It must have been on that new Boeing. While we were while I was in Vegas, one of the times I was like, "Oh, I got to hop on this plane tomorrow." They're probably putting it right back in circulation the next day. <laughs> Everything went fine. Everything, just a little bumpy over. I don't the know. Mountains. Once once you get to like the cruising altitude, it's almost you're you're in that state of mind as I'm on the road. You get a couple bumps, so you're like, ah, oh, it's just like going on a, a rocky road. That's a good way to but, approach but, it. I I just don't even consider how high up I'm in the air and what's happening. Andrew says I think Dale Jr. retired because of concussions. I don't, yeah. don't wreck so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was always his fault. Well, that's what everyone says when they've been in all those wrecks. <laughs> they weren't my fault. And we're, we, don't, we don't have the days. denominator. That's what we, don't have, <laughs> we don't have the good old days of uh, Winston Cup racing where drivers were like in their 50s. Yeah, why not? They're badasses. It's a little bit different. Burning heaters the whole yep. race. <laughs> a lot of mustaches. Yeah, Lots what if, of mustaches. How much like, do you think we'd have to pay Richard Petty to hop back yeah, in the see, car? Yeah, that's right the first now. guy I'm Ooh, thinking of right there. I think he's a smart guy. I think he's like, I'm good. <laughs> no, I think he'd do it. I think he would too. You just watch, I would wear like, that hat. Talk about too. a sport yep. evolving. I you go old. back and like look at Cale Yarborough and those and you know Bobby uh, uh, Labani and Neil uh, uh, when men were Bennett, men. Bonnet. Like like and even Dale Senior. Like back in the day of the old Winston Cup racing dudes, what they were wearing yep. for protective gear, Nothing. what the cars look like to now, helmet. what they yeah. look like. Yeah. yeah, they were just wearing t-shirts, <laughs> <laughs> just a pair of jeans. <laughs> yeah, why not? Had a, had a, uh, a <laughs> that didn't turn of, out too well. Can for Dale. Chew, uh, in the no. back pocket, yeah. just slid in and fired it up. Put the helmet on. Yeah, they reached down into their cup holder. They were, <laughs> they were wearing jeans. They're coming around. Turn. Uh, you you got to You got three wide here. All right. I guess I'll take care of that. <laughs> it is. 
is where they were. They're just men were men. You figure they probably did eight hours at the farm, then they yeah. got in their car. Yeah. Now what? We got to wear we got to wear helmets over our helmets yeah. at football practice. Now they train. <laughs> now they try to get physically fit. Run a little moonshine in the morning. Yeah. Then I'm I'm out to uh, Wilkesboro in the afternoon. Yeah, they, they had they had like the drunk man skinny look, and now you know they're fit. That's come on. That's not right. Uh, if you ever get the chance, like some there are some old winston cup slash nascar tracks that are abandoned it is oh. pretty startling to see a racetrack that is just left alone josh plug in your microphone to g- give it a little jostle there on the bottom I shouldn't have to though well, no on the on the yeah on the there you go hear that click i did that'll get you in the good spot. why did it unclick is sometimes it unclicks no no some gravitational pull in here people are a little like you said there's a lot of turbulence in this room <laughs> a lot of air you know wind resistance so you sometimes you just got to put stuff back in place so right. you everybody's seen the pictures i think we talked about this last week of like the, the silver dome empty yep they just let it deteriorate malls yes yeah, yeah. you guys, ever, have you guys ever walked upon a empty stadium a stadium that is just left alone falling apart well grass I, growing i think i went by rosenblatt yeah that was yeah, same here. And watch the infield and everything just go to hell and seeing grass grow. Yeah, it's oh. one of the saddest things of all it time. Is. It's very depressing. Did they? Could you be like G Fed and get in, and put your feet on the field at Rosenblatt, or do they have it? I think they had it fenced off. They did. They had it chain link fenced off, but it, it, they, it also didn't take them very long for them to blow it. Yeah, up. I, I think though when they did have it fenced off, you probably hey, could have found that your way would have there. been. A, now just imagine the emotional toll. If Rosenblatt would have sat for like seven, eight oh, years, while well, the CWS is going state. on, you have to yeah. watch it deteriorate. Yeah, Ugh. that would have been so sad. She I'm deserved. Glad they blew it up. She deserved better than that. Yeah, I mean they were letting it go toward the end too. You well, know? yeah. They, they, some of the some of the pictures of like the last uh, Omaha Royals game there with the grass yeah. the way it was. Oh, and when and, they knew they were gone, I remember the yeah. last College World Series there. You could see some really bad spots in the outfield. Well, because they would they would paint. They would paint over the spot. Yeah, yes, that's with true. A, with a different color of green. By the God, there was color. nut sedge growing in the outfield. <laughs> Can't have any nut sedge. Yeah, come on now. It was bad because they always all the groundskeepers would always say like, "Hey, when the when the people come in from different places, it brings all these different grass seeds yeah. on their cleats, and which so is it, interesting. It kills the grass. Yeah. And then they would have to paint over it yep. with spray paint. <laughs> really, I yep. never thought about that. Yep. Yeah. And that's why that's why I mean that and playing on it constantly for yeah. twelve days, and then when you realize makes the College World Series field look pretty rough by the end. And then when you know that this is going to be the last time for it, you just—it's amazing how how little let you it know ride. what you really give. Let it ride. Yeah, let it ride. Baby. Oh, those twelve-hour days. Hey, you know what? We might uh, scale that back to eight. The more I think about it, we would have been scarred if Rosenblatt would have stood for years. Absolutely, oh, it would have yeah. been horrifying. Yeah, to, to watch a slow bleed while we're all complaining about, oh, this new stadium is nice and big, but there's nothing to it yet. Yeah, just imagine. In South Omaha, that thing is just having a slow death. Yeah, like the t- people would come and go. They still do. They go visit the, yeah. the Rosenblatt like monument there. Like, what if that was still, what if it was still the field yep. to this day? Every team and, coming and, in would would probably have some type of well, you know what seance happens there, there, a the, prayer or whatever. The local news cameras yes. would go out there and take aerial shots yep. they'd be like check this out oh i was just thinking ES- espn would have it apart every cutaway they would be yeah. or the return club would, would have, have all the windows they'd have to use the sad yeah. injury oh, music gosh that, <laughs> see that's the thing the, the club with the bro if it had broken windows press box windows are press box windows are broken oh man it'd be depressing like the weeds that someone would get onto the concourse and there'd be weeds everywhere yeah, yeah. Oh. like doors would be hanging off oh so bad it would be so bad i'm glad they blew it up um yeah. got an email here mm. um subject line silver fox hi guys david pearson the silver fox used to have a cigarette lighter in his car <laughs> nascar <laughs> he'd smoke a heater during cautions in the late 60s terry that's awesome hell yeah thank you Terry. exactly that, that's a best response after that hell yeah i mean and then all of a sudden they became bougie hell yeah. like that's appealing to a guy hell in yes. the south like that's why i do the same thing I get stuck in traffic on 75 in Atlanta. Rip I, one. I rip off a heater. Yeah. And then I go on Sunday and I watch my favorite driver do the same thing when they go the, the in-car camera. And he's there just smoking a Marlboro. He's just yeah. like me. Yep. I Cars can... still have cigarette lighters. My new car has a cigarette lighter. Yeah, really? my, I think. Uh, uh, I, my, I don't know if it's a cigarette know. lighter. No, it's, it's like a Volt. It's like a charger. Yeah. yeah. Can you use it as a cigarette lighter? No, know. probably yeah. not, right? I don't know if you press it. Okay, in. my if car it, does not have a cigarette lighter. If it lighter, pops back out in 15 seconds. I think that's a, you can plug your cell phone charger yeah. into that. 
if you still have those. I don't think, it, I don't think when ones. you pulled it out, it has the where it no, heat the, up. The, yeah, and then yeah. pops right back out and it's yeah. red. I never understood that back in the day. Ready to go. But I, yeah, I eventually no, figured that out that it That was pretty cool, really though, to see somebody that was like smooth, that was a smoker. They just reached down and pulled that out and it was heated on the end. Bang. Mm-hmm. Light it, put it back in. in. Yeah. All in it. one motion. Yep. Man, that's smooth. That's pretty cool. I want to smoke. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Well, well have guys, a good weekend. We, I will. Have a heater. I will. I'm not going <laughs> to do that. No? Come on. I'm not. I don't think so. I don't think so. It made it sound really cool. All right. Enjoy your guys' weekend. Right. That's the crossover powered by Everlevel Concrete Repair in Omaha at everlevelconcrete.com. It's Friday. We'll start things off next. That's the crossover. The Connor Happer Show is next on 1620 The Zone. Chilly start to Friday. Expect more sunshine in the morning, then more cloud cover through the afternoon. Breezy at times with northwest winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 50s. Freeze possible overnight as lows drop into the lower 30s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV News Watch 7. Guys, let's have a conversation. Let's say you've been losing interest in your spouse. You got low libido. You can't focus on things. And you're wondering, what is going on? It may be low testosterone. Mentality is here for you. With their FDA-approved testosterone treatment, their board-certified physicians who work with most insurance companies, they can diagnose the symptoms of low testosterone and take care of it. Schedule an appointment today. Go to the website, lowtusa.com. Take back your life, men. Mentality, lowtusa.com. How many oysters can you down? 12, 24, 36, test your limit.
They need him. They need him. Um, we will talk about Matt Rule's mission. Uh, I'm wondering what Josh Odson thinks about a specific thing. A couple things, actually, that happened yesterday. Uh, one of which was uh, Kese Tominaga becoming an... Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I, I have heard about this. Okay, good. I'm just wondering what you think about Shocker. that. Shocker. I okay. don't care for it. Okay, good. Um, and uh, probably, I guess, Taylor Swift. How much? How deep are you into this Taylor Swift deal? I, I've listened to several tracks. I, I, I've read several articles. Okay. I have some things to say about it, too. I've listened to none of it. There's a lot of articles, that's for sure. A lot of people posting lyrics. So, uh, yeah, we'll get to that during the show. Uh, talk about Chucky Hepburn's foray into the transfer portal. Uh, Deion Sanders might come up again on the show. I'll ask you another question about Memorial Stadium and its potential updates regarding uh, coming up because Missouri announced a nice big update to their stadium yesterday. Um, and uh, plenty more as we get into the weekend. Also, our guest on the show today, Brian Munson of Husker Online, will join us at the top of the hour. Talks from recruiting. It's, Nebraska's had a a, few, a couple commits since we last spoke last week. Uh, so we'll get into those guys and uh, a look ahead to potentially spring game visits and things of that nature. Brian Christofferson talking spring ball and maybe a little hoops at 1130. And Stephen M. Sipple to bring our week together. Just asking Steve, hey, what are you up to today? And then just going from there. Just let it ah, rip. let it rip after. Ah, that. well, uh, you know, I got some I had some things to do. Might get caught up a little bit. Simple will join at 1230. That's the lineup powered by the referees at John Higgins Weather Guard. We'd like to hear from you guys. 402-951-1620 on the 42 Degrees of Source hotline. Um, and you can, what? It, are, do we not have sound? I don't know. Okay. Cool. Our YouTube chat, do we have, do we have sound? Okay. Well, you, you let us know. You guys help us. If there's a problem, we're efforting a solution. <laughs> well, apparently, we do have sound now. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means Even we're back. I hear nothing in queue. Uh, you can tweet at us at Happer Show at Connor Happer on the JTech Construction Zone Twitter feed. You can email Connor Josh O at 1620thezone.com on the Equitable Bank Zone inbox. And, of course, leave us a comment on our YouTube page if you would like to help the show. Oh. You know? Because sometimes we need, we need, we need eyes and ears everywhere. That's what we need. Uh, texters say sound is working on Twitch. Jeff says it's been cutting in and out. All right. Well, just yeah. Tell us what you hear throughout the uh, throughout the show today, and of course, you can find that stream on our website. Convenient. Sixty-five more turnovers than they have gained since 2013. So Matt Rule has his work cut out for him this year. Last year, it was, of course, highlighted by their astronomical minus 17 turnover margin. Minus 17, one year. Not good, Josh. So there is a, I hope they can become obsessed with it and that hopefully some sort of luck will 
help fix it as well. It appears as if we're getting now uh, technical support from from our boss, which is uh, which is a good thing. So we'd like to welcome him. To, we'd like to welcome Mark to the studio. Now he's waving goodbye. All right. Does it feel like we're there now? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. We're, there, we're there. All right. Good. I just have to set it up like the afternoon show for some reason. Don't normally have to do that. That's okay. That's okay. We it's it, it'd be good if we got it all on the on the same page. That that would be true. Yes. On a consistent page. Should be good now. All right. I apologize. That's okay. We're off and running on a Friday. Uh, we'll come back. Why don't we discuss those those turnovers? Love a turnover. The okay. pastry, not a football turnover. Okay. Well, we don't have any of those. Damn. We don't have any of those. So we'll discuss that and uh, we'll we'll talk about what a reasonable goal for that should be and what that would mean for Nebraska's potential win total. I don't know if you've heard there's there's quite a wave of Kool-Aid coming in right now. I don't know about Kool-Aid like what's coming out from the team, but there's kind of, I'll say that there's a wave of positivity that has nearly hit landfall, Josh. Right on schedule. Oh. April 19th. Lapping upon our shores mm-hmm. as we speak. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Might wipe you out. Back with more next to the Connor Hamper show in 1620 the zone. goes from kill to clean in seconds. Plus, it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Roofing, siding, and gutters. Make the right call with the Rooferees at John Higgins Weather Guard. Why is there so much pride at Wisner Pilger Elementary School in Wisner, Nebraska? Our school was one of only 65 schools across the nation that was recognized for exceptional student performance and academic growth. Every day, our students, Teachers, support staff, and parents step up to the challenge to make learning exceptional for every one of our kids. It's something that makes our Wisner Pilger community very proud. Tell us why you're public school proud at publicschoolproudnebraska.org. The Zone Inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. Email me, Connor Happer, with the Connor Happer Show at Connor, C O N N O R, at 1620thezone.com. Send me your love, your hate, and maybe a few hot takes. The Zone Inbox, presented by Equitable Bank. I want to learn how to cook, but I keep ordering takeout. I plan to rearrange my closet, but I stopped after picking the clothes up off the floor. Accomplishing goals is hard, but when your goal is to learn a new language, Babbel makes it easy. In just 15 minutes a day, Babbel's award-winning language learning app will help you start speaking another language. Start having conversations in as little as three weeks. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Vous êtes où? Vous êtes où? Babbel's bite-sized lessons make it easy to learn words and phrases you'll actually use. So when someone asks, how's your French going? You can say, Ma belle est amusante et facilite grandement l'apprentissage d'une nouvelle langue. Et cela ne prend que 15 minutes par jour. When you want to really learn another language, it starts with Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. All right, so I made Josh uh, guess the number. Now, big I'll, big number. I'll admit to you, Josh is a little bit of a setup. I thought you were going to undershoot it, and I was right. <laughs> you know, I wanted I wanted it for wow factor. I knew there was only one year of positivity. Yes. in that category. Yes, because we've talked about this stat a lot over the years. We have, and it comes up again because Matt Rule in his most recent media availability Tuesday said, "quote." 
We are on a mission to be positive in the turnover margin. We are on a mission to be positive in the turnover margin. Not just better than minus 17. Not just improvement. Not just improvement. Positive. Nebraska's done it once as a program since 2013. It was in 2016. Josh, do you care to remember how many games they won that year? It was nine. Nine. It was nine football games. I'm going to say nine. It was nine football games. All right. Matt Rule, in his head coaching career in college football, has gone positive in the turnover margin. Uh, Let's see. One, two, three, four out of seven times. Uh, I, I should say four out of eight because last year was so bad. People forget about that. People do forget. He's had a couple bottom out years. Both, all three of his first years at his stops, Temple, Baylor, Nebraska, minus in the turnover margin. Uh, One of his second years at Temple, they went from minus six to plus three. At Baylor in his second year from 17 to 18, 2017 to 2018, they went minus 14 to minus nine and then made the big jump in his third year, that team was, of course, very, very good. Um, won a Big 12 championship. People forget. People do forget about that. Matt Rule says we are on a mission to go positive in the turnover margin. Let me tell you something right now, Josh. If Nebraska is able to do something completely unthinkable, and it's simple to to a lot of teams around the country. Like I wonder, I wonder if you go back. I should have actually had this stat ready. If you went back and you looked at Iowa in the turnover margin since it during that period of time. How many times they've gone negative? I would guess one or less. I would guess one or less. Um, and it's no wonder that they have won as many football games as they had over that period of time. But let me tell you this. If Nebraska makes that jump from minus 17 to positive in the turnover margin, they're winning probably at least nine games. I mean, and, and like the sky is the limit right? at that point. Like I could pretty much guarantee you that they're going to win eight, probably nine. And then, you know, you can, you could, we'll see how much they're able to take the top off off of that. That's how big of a deal it's been for Nebraska football. In fact, Nebraska had some seasons under Bo Pelini, for instance, where they won a whole bunch of games and they were still pretty bad in the turnover margin. 2014, they won nine games. They were minus two in the turnover margin. 2013, they won nine games. They were minus 11 in the turnover margin. That was almost dead last in the country. It's it's been a thing that has plagued Nebraska over multiple coaching staffs over a long period of time now, but it is representative of a lot of different things. I mean, first of all, I, I think it happens because Nebraska's reliance on running quarterbacks which is something that they do not have this year. The one year in this time frame that I'm looking at, the 11 years in which they did not have a quote-unquote running quarterback, they were minus seven in 2017. That would have been the Tanner Lee year, not a running quarterback. But if you remember, he threw picks every time he threw the ball. (laughs) So there was that piece of it too. Not that that's not possible here, but minus seven would be a 10 turnover improvement. Wow. From last year. And so I'm going to lay this out. First of all, I'm not, I'm not sure I buy that they can get all the way to positive yet. It's, it's a really good goal, obviously. I'm not sure I buy it. But I have, there's no problem at all with Matt Rule saying that. But I do think that thing is coming significantly down this year. I hope that Nebraska can force the ball out more on defense. I know they'll turn it over less on offense. I'm sure of it. Um, so they're minus 65 in the turnover margin since 2013 which averages out to about five points. So let's call it six minus six a year over 11 seasons, minus six a year over 11 seasons. What if I told you that Nebraska was going to be minus six? And then what if I told you that Nebraska was going to be higher or at their high water mark in the last decade, which is plus five or somewhere in between there? I don't even know that it has to be as good as plus five in the turnover margin for Nebraska. But I I think where you're looking at is somewhere in that range. 
And if they are somewhere in that range with as good as Nebraska's defense was last year, not necessarily punching the ball out, but with as good as their defense was last year, um, just generally, right? We're talking bulk stats here, yards, mm-hmm. um, you know, getting stops, things like that points. They were good in all those categories. Um, and they have this offense that is functional at this point. That's all that Dylan Raiola comes in and is expected of him. Just be be functional, right? Don't make these yeah. horrible, horrible mistakes. Don't make mistakes. Be careful with the football. I'm a little concerned about Nebraska's ability, uh, you know, just to run the ball with their running backs mm-hmm. in a traditional sense. Like that's that's the thing that kind of holds you up, I guess, in this conversation. Might get into some situations where you got to okay, we need to take the top off. We need we need to sling it here. Yeah, or or that's where you get Dylan uh, Dylan going on some RPOs and stuff like that, and make him make him start to make plays. Those plays. Um, could, might get you a few third downs, but they might also result in a few turnovers. Iowa's turnover so, margin last year, minus seven. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There Wouldn't you go. Guess that. So that's where you get into a little bit of a push and pull with young Dylan. Like, how much do you want to use his extreme high-end talent to your advantage, right? Basically, how dangerous do you want to be with him? How much are you going to allow him to do the things that he does well. Right. I always go back to um like Spencer Rattler, right? Spencer Rattler is so is is so talented. And in a lot of cases, and especially in his time at South Carolina, he threw just a billion picks. I mean, he he was relied on to do all of the things in the offense and it resulted in turnovers. So interesting th- quarterback you've chosen to highlight there. Why is that? Uh I believe we know his former OC. Interesting. That's right. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, Josh. Oh, yeah. okay. I, but I, beca- I thought you did it on purpose. Well, no, because he. I, I think of him because he's the the, the he, he the, was the plight with mm-hmm. him is that his arm talent is so good that it tricks you into thinking that you should to give him all the keys to everything. Oh, he must be a good quarterback right. because he has a great arm. And he's going and he's going and he is a good quarterback. But when you put too much on the quarterback, that's where you run into trouble. So what will be the push and pull with using that piece of Dylan Raiola's high, high end talent, arm talent, likes of that we've very rarely seen in Nebraska, if ever. And then also having the pieces around him and saying, hey, look, maybe the maybe the best play is to trust our defense here. And is there a like does is there ever like a frustration there? at some point in time where he's not like you haven't fully uncorked him until later on in his career, or at least later on in this year, it's a, it's a maturation process a little bit. So that's where you get into that question a little bit, but back to the turnover piece in between minus six and plus five in between minus six and plus five. So we're already talking about an 11 turnover positive net game. From Nebraska a year ago, the eleven turnovers better. Yes, I it, I know it's a it's a tough ask, and it seems like a ridiculous thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think that's that's well within Nebraska's ability. Um, remember, Nebraska lost offensively thirty one turnovers last year. They threw sixteen interceptions. So if you can if you can cut the fumbles in half, and then maybe cut the interceptions in half as well. So you're down to like basically eight and eight of each of those where you had 15 and 16 last year. All of a sudden your turnover lost number is coming down to half as well. It's in the neighborhood of about 15 or 20. That would have put Nebraska. If if you are, if you were 15 in the turnover loss category last year, 15 turnovers, that's a little more than one per game. That's something you could live with. Right. Um, Nebraska's defense got themselves 14 takeaways last year. You'd be talking about minus two or three, you know, minus one, two, three, Mm -hmm. somewhere in that range. Nebraska would have won like three more games last year, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. They would have won like three more games last year. And this is a team that we think is conventionally just like from an operational standpoint better. Um, Its quarterback is certainly more talented. Its defense is looking to take the next step. So I don't. Like, I think you could get kind of crazy with this a little bit and start to think, 
the sky's the limit on this stuff. And it's almost a good thing that they bottomed out so much last year. That way you could be like, well, you know, you're going to set the bar, whatever it is this year, you're going to set the bar. Cause you ain't going to be minus 17. You're going to be dead last in the country in turnover margin. Yeah, I, I, God willing, God willing. Or I, I think there were, I don't know how many teams there are in FBS anymore, but I have it marked down as they were 130th in the country in lost turnovers. Last year. Uh, I, I believe, imagine I believe there's 131 temple was the only one worse. There you go. And they were uh, better, 129th in margin. Uh, yeah, yeah. So congratulations to them. That's where Temple was one worse than Nebraska. <laughs> oh, sorry. so maybe there's only 130. Maybe they're dead last in, in turnovers given up in the country last year. And so, um, you know, you could put all that stuff together, and I, and I talked about it before, but you know, that's, where the, that's where the wave of Kool-Aid starts to hit you a little bit. It's a numbers game. It's, it's, it's a math game. Nebraska's schedule is not particularly difficult for a Big Ten schedule. You have a nice little ramp and a runway for young Dylon, and then what you play at the back end of the season is maybe not as solid as you once thought it was. Like you could, you know, you're you're you can always expect a tussle with Wisconsin, but I think they're still in like this kind of transition phase, this transition period. Um, what's Iowa going to look like this year? Probably just like Iowa. Nebraska's proven that they could be at the very least right in those games, if not win them, even while their turnover margins have been horrid, terrible. USC, UCLA, and then Ohio State is obviously uh, borderline impossible. But, um, well, yeah, it's hard. It's it's very, very hard for Nebraska to win that game. But you look at the, you look at the schedule, and you're like, hmm, okay. If you plug in, if you plug me in for a positive turnover margin, like Nebraska's Matt Rule, Matt Matt Rule said the other day, this the the sky is the limit. I would say, Josh, that all bets are off in that point. Oh, oh, all bets are off. Remember, all bets are off. <laughs> that didn't work out last year. It did not. I almost, <clears throat> I, I almost. Regret saying it to a certain extent, but wow. all bets would indeed be off at that point. So that's where I, I think that's where the positivity comes from. Like in the in the idea that they bottomed out. Um, I shouldn't say they bottomed out, but they were just so bad last year in these key key categories. With that being said, they um, they sacked the quarterback with you know uh, I don't know if it was. I mean, they, they had 30 sacks, 32 sacks last year. Um, their sack margin, right? They they sacked the quarterback three more times than their opponents did last year, which was which is pretty good. Um, Nebraska has spent the last one, two, three, four, five, six seasons before last year getting sacked more than they sacked. So that's already a positive step. So you can't say, hey, look, they were so bad in that category last year. There's all this. There's all this room to grow. 23rd in the country in sacks as a team last year. 32? Is that your number that you have? That is correct. 32 sacks last year. Matt Rule said 40 sacks, win 10 games. All right. 40 would put you at ninth in the country. So 40 sacks and and then getting that turnover margin closer to zero. Nebraska is winning 10 games. This like if if those things mm-hmm. happen, Nebraska is going to win 10 games. In Matt Rule's third and final season at Baylor. They sacked the quarterback 46 times. That would be second in the country last year. Indeed. Matt Rule, in his time as head coach, has only sacked the quarter. His teams have only sacked the quarterback 40 times twice. Both of those teams won 10 games in 2016 at Temple and in 2019 at Baylor. I'm not saying that every number has to go up across the board. It does. It, 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 like Nebraska, Nebraska will have deficiencies. But if you play it out, it's a math equation in your head and all these different things you have from last year um, and, you know, how how close they were to a bowl game in the first place. But it it all leads to the conversation of. First of all, if Nebraska is not in a bowl game this year, we got real problems, real problems. You know, second of all, questions will be asked your your goal this year. Should not be your your happiness should not be solely based upon if Nebraska does go to a bowl or not go, it, it should be higher than that. 
Nebraska okay. should be in a warm weather bowl game this year, whatever mm-hmm. you know, whatever that means. They, Nebraska should be, um, you know, an eight, nine. T- like, I hope that there's a point where you're looking up in the beginning of November and you're like, is there still an outside chance for us to get to the Big Ten championship game? You know, that that kind of thing. That those should be kind of the questions that you're asking this year. And I'm not saying this is disappointment if you aren't in that position, but I mean, we're just, I, I think our brains are programmed to think like this has to be linear and you go from five and then, and then next year you go to six and then you see what happens after that. Like, I think the jump has all the makings of being there in the win column for Nebraska football this year. And that's where the wave of Kool Aid hits you a little bit. It's hitting me, Josh. I love it. It's, I love hit, it. it's hitting me. Much earlier than normal. Uh, I don't know. This is about the time. This is about the time. Okay. This is about the time. We're getting into some real big picture summary type of conversations right now. Uh, text from the 402. I would say also the Casey Thompson year was a year without a running quarterback. I think Dylan and Casey would be similar in the run category. Uh, okay, that's probably a good point. The Casey Thompson year, Nebraska in turnover margin, minus three in 2022. Okay. Minus three. You can live with oh, that. Oh, you can live just fine with that. There, You could live you can live with that in the sense of like, that's like a, I know it didn't end up being that in 2022 for a variety of different reasons, mostly because the defense pooped its own pants in the first three games of the season and everybody got fired. Um, but, um, you know, if you go minus three, like the, the conversation point at the end of the season is going to be, yeah, we were in a lot of close games and, um, you know, there was, there was more left out there for us, but we won eight games. Left some plays on the field. We left some plays. Like maybe, maybe that will be the 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 feeling at the end of 2024 for Nebraska. It will be there's this there's this positivity and like oh my god we made the jump from five to eight we're kind of feeling back but also and they were like three plays away from eleven or something like that. I could see that. I could I could see that being a a feeling and a result of this football season. So, yeah, turnover stats. Um. You know, I'm going to just keep talking about them all summer long. If that's okay with you guys. Is that good? Please talk about it all summer long. What do we got going on the YouTube right now? Uh, Theo says the Kool-Aid is enraging, especially underestimating the buffs again. Yeah, I think. Um, well, would you see the, the, the running back that they're talking to? No. Ohio State running back visiting. Oh, oh boy. Oh, their Kool-Aid's going to be. Turn, Kool-Aid's gonna be crazy. Turning it all around. Yeah, I think we gotta um I think we gotta adjust our brains to Nebraska having a competent football coach. It helps, it turns out. I think you're right. Yeah, I think Nebraska has a competent football coach. There's some stuff like that happened in the in the actual games last year that I think they'll that will crop up is you know, maybe it costs them one or so this year. Yeah. But, but th- once it's again, it's not gonna be perfect. This They're is not gonna be about, a well oiled machine. This these these first couple of years, it's about raising the floor. Mm-hmm. It's about raising the floor. So if you're looking for raising the floor, whatever that means, you know, if the if I always, you know, my my time of watching Nebraska football, the 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 floor was like, all right, we're gonna win pretty much seven games rolling out of bed. You know, we're gonna win like eight games pretty much no matter what. Um, and you know, I, I think that floor has a has a chance to be reestablished this year. And then you go beyond that with your mega talented five-star quarterback. And then, like I said, uh, all bets are off. We're getting out of the sub-basement. Out of the sub-basement and into the regular basement. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, what did Hus- Hurt and Husker fans say here? Uh, curious how much these two factors had to do with Rayola's decision that I never considered. The easy ramp-up start to his first season and how much he wanted you to stop pronouncing his name, Dylon. Dylon. You guys may have some serious credit in that commitment. We'd be happy to take the credit if this works. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm sure he loves being called Dylon, and I'm sure he definitely knows about it. That's for sure. All right. Uh, we can have more on that later in the show, your guys' thoughts, but let's have our recruiting chat here with Brian Munson of Husker Online. Not keep him waiting any longer. Coming up on the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. The NBA playing tournament gives teams the chance to play their way into the postseason, and it is the case for a couple more teams tonight. Bulls Heat, Kings Pelicans. They both get the chances to play one seeds 
should they win. So it only seems right that new customers in the FanDuel Sportsbook can play their way into $150. It's that easy. Just place. In fact, it's easier than it would be for any of these play-in teams, especially to get past the number one seed. Just place any $5 bet on these games tonight, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets, win or lose, to use during the NBA playoffs. Don't take any Jimmy Butler overs, anything like that. No, stay away. In fact, they won't even offer those on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Pick somebody else, maybe like Kobe White to drop another 40 or whatever he did the other night, or first basket scores, team totals, overs, unders, and just good old-fashioned spreads. Uh, you can cook up a same-game parlay or anything else in the FanDuel Sportsbook. Head to FanDuel.com slash Happer and get started. FanDuel, official sports betting partner of the NBA. 21 and over present in Iowa. First online row money wager, only $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is non-withdrawable bonus bets, which expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem call 1-800-BETS-OFF. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. Welcome to this episode of... RV Ready, brought to you by Leach Camper Sales in Council Bluffs. Rody? Leach Camper Sales has the RV for you, and I am calling you out here. People should go to leachcamper.com and check out the inventory. And don't forget, the coffee's always on. When I heard the words, you have breast cancer, I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. My OBGYN called me and said, I know exactly what we're going to do, which led me to Nebraska Cancer Specialist. From day one, I felt that I was at the right place. There were some pretty rough times, but together we are stronger and they are there for you. You do not feel that you are alone. NebraskaCancer.com Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. My taco pie is really something special, and it can't be imitated. It starts with my zesty taco sauce. Seasoned beef, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, mounds of cheddar, and mozzarella cheese. This pie is the real deal. For a limited time, build your own feast with a specialty pizza, like my taco pie, a one-topping pizza, and cinnamon monkey bread. Do yourself a favor and order. Today, Godfather's Pizza. Do it. When it comes to concrete repair, Everlevel has some serious game. Coach Greg McDermott here to coach you on why you should choose Everlevel Concrete Repair. They've got the fundamentals to fix your cracked and uneven concrete, and their products will give you the best defense against future damage. It's a fraction of the price compared to replacement, and their solutions come with a long-term transferable warranty. Working with Everlevel is a slam dunk. Call Everlevel Concrete Repair today for your free inspection. Hey, baseball fans, join the Blur Tailgate at Hilton Omaha this June for our 12th annual hospitality event during the College Baseball Championship Series. Book an experience for your clients or employees with an inclusive bar, buffet, TVs, music, and tailgate games. Secure your spot today and let Blur Events take care of all the work so you can enjoy the day. Plus, we're just steps away from Charles Schwab Field. Visit BlurEvents.com to book your group, buy tickets, or learn about sponsorships. That's BlurEvents.com, your college baseball and football tailgate destination. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that we can give our daughters everything they need to grow and learn. But not every child can focus on classes and play dates. Nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. face hunger. That's one in six. School lunch might be their only meal each day. And it's heartbreaking to imagine any child going to bed hungry. We're dreaming of a perfect day when kids can smile, play, and just be kids without worrying about where their next meal will come from. Feeding America is working to make that perfect day a reality. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste. That food is given to families and children in need. Being a kid should be about doing things that make an ordinary day extraordinary. Learning to play an instrument, building a sandcastle, hosting tea parties. Hunger should never be an obstacle to growing up. You can help end childhood hunger in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. 
Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZN Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. Come out! Brian Munson. Hey, long call. Comfy left Zoom buster. 63 Bang Z Maui. Alert. Paradise Z Burger Y Rap. All one. Husker Online on the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. All right, a couple commits have popped over the last week since we last spoke with Brian Munson of Husker Online, who joins us now on the 42 Degrees of Source Hotline. Munson, hello. Happy Friday. How are you? I'm good. You gave me a heart attack. I was sitting here thinking it's Friday. I'm not talking to my boy yet. And yeah. I said, uh, my weekend literally begins the minute I start talk, start talking to you. So that's wow. the, that's the uh, importance of you on my Friday. Man. Many people view us like, like a grill just waiting to have hamburgers put on it. Uh, I, you know, or a flat top with fajita meat, man. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm down for that stuff. That's cool. Like any type of, just get me out from behind this desk and give me back my time. That's, that's basically the way that I look at it. Yeah, we apologize. We ran, uh, we ran a couple minutes late because I was, uh, I was waxing poetic about turnover margins and um, how Nebraska, how bad Nebraska was last year, and how how th- how good they aim to be this year, which is a lofty expectation. Well, I mean, they've got a lot of a lot of room to work with. Um, they do. <clears throat> that's 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 the good part. I mean, uh, if you're continuing to to not do well in that area, you've uh, you've hit bedrock and you continue to dig. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it was about as bad as it could get last year, I think. I think. Um, but there's always that thing in the back of your head, like hold, hold our hold our breath, hold mm-hmm. my hold my beer. <laughs> uh, on to the uh, commitments here. So these. These were during last weekend in Bryson Hayes and Jackson Carpenter. I guess um, give us the quick synopsis on those two guys and how it all came together. Yeah, so Jackson committed, uh, went went public with it on Saturday. Um, he, uh, we, we kind of had the the heads up a little bit a little bit beforehand that, that this was all going to go go down and, and happen, but. Um, uh, he had actually gotten, I think, the heads up that, that Bryson was in and was just waiting to go ahead and announce his commitment till Sunday. So I, I think that this is a really interesting pair of wide receivers for Nebraska to, to, to add. So number one, that their straight line 100 meter speed is nearly identical. Uh, Jackson Carpenter is a 10 6 8 guy. He just literally ran that in his last track meet of his, not just his not just of his junior year, but of his career. Cause he li- literally ended up tweaking uh, a hamstring uh, in a, in another heat right after that in a relay race and just said, you know what, uh, my, my future is in football and I need to get to work. And so he has hung up the spikes and he is, uh, he's working out now, but trying to rehabilitate that, that hamstring a little bit. So 10, six, eight Jackson, 10, six, nine Bryson. Mm. Bryson, what's interesting about him is that he's got a verified max speed of 21.3 miles an hour. <laughs> so the dude, the dude can just straight up fly. And, and, you know, he's a, he's a four, three low four, four guy. Jackson's a four, four guy. Um, Jackson's got this 39 inch vertical to kind of go along with his, with his hundred meter time. He's, he's a little bit taller than Bryson. So, Jackson, the kind of the kind of the tail of the tape is that Jackson's like six two, one eighty five, one ninety ish, maybe maybe pushing one ninety five, and Bryson's a little you know six foot one seventy ish. But like I said, speed the same. They're going to be used a little bit differently, and this is the part here where I think people need to kind of understand that you know Jackson's going to have some ability to go play the Z. He's going to play the X. He's going to play on the line. He's going to play off the line. They're going to put him in motion. They're going to find different ways to kind of get him the the football and create some mismatches and get some, get, get him in motion and, and basically let him kind of run out of that and, and get the, get the route going very, very early at a speed. Bryson, on the other hand, I think he can do, you know, that motion movement as a Z. Um, I think he's really primarily going to be looked at, you know, to kind of be a slot guy. Uh, I think that he's also the kind of guy that, you know, you can, 
you can kind of envision a lot of end arounds. You can kind of see him, you know, working a lot of tight space, you know, slip screen, jailbreak screen type stuff. And then you can uncork one. Obviously, he's got that speed. And, and I love Jackson, uh, Jackson's ability as a 50-50 with that vertical. So really nice combination of guys. I know Nebraska fans waited about eight months since Connor Booth decided to go ahead and jump in the class for these two to jump in. And I think that, like I said in three and out, man, everybody needs to kind of just get their seatbelt ready. Because I, I think over the next, you know, o- o- until at least the middle of July, Things are going to be happening, you know, uh, quite a bit, you know, over the coming weeks, particularly with the big ones starting off next weekend. Yeah. So we're seeing, um, I, I agree with you, as we've talked about, it's going to start heating up here pretty soon. As you look at Nebraska's class right now, um, you know, there's, there's what, uh, five, let's see. Yeah. Five commits in it right now. And four of them are from the state of Nebraska and the other ones from Kansas. And I was, I was sort of thinking, and I always talk about numbers all the time and scholarship counts and, and stuff like that. Um, it, it, it feels like to me that maybe Nebraska is not in part reason because they trust their evaluations, but another part reason because they're not particularly worried about scholarship numbers at, at this point mm. um, to a certain extent where they can go ahead and you know accept commitments from maybe fringe type guys earlier in the cycle get them in the boat and then kind of go from there. Like I, I just wonder generally how much it's helped those type of players, whether, whether they're from the state of Nebraska or, or elsewhere and they can claim their spots early. Well, I I think it comes down to how Nebraska feels like they have to go about doing their business on a continual, continual basis. Yes. Are would you would I consider Jackson and Bryson Hayes to be regional recruits? Absolutely. I mean, look at who the final two basically were for each one of those guys: with Kansas and Nebraska. I mean, I guess yeah. Kansas stayed a little bit with Bryson Hayes, but you know, uh, Jackson was getting some sniffs from some other schools: Wyoming, Oklahoma State, you know, Iowa State, you know, on and on and on. All regional schools. When we when we talked last year, you know, when we were sitting here talking about Carter Nelson, and we all kind of had this feeling that there was something special about him. And then one February, uh, he gets like uh, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, and it's just like, okay, you have gone straight from you know standing here in the region to into orbit. And and Grant Bricks was very much the same too. He was a guy that was a very dialed down, you know, kind of thing. The recruiting stuff's going to happen, you know, and I kind of already got this kind of thing figured out. And then Notre Dame offered and the lid just blew off of him. So I I, I think Nebraska, well, you have to consider too. I mean, Nebraska wants to have success like what KU is having on the football field. When, When we talk about Jackson, when we talk about, you know, Bryson jumping into the class, the team that's really impacted the most, you know, isn't the team that got the two commitments. It's Leipold. Leipold now has to go back and expand where he is at, you know, when it comes to, you know, offering a few more guys. Kansas State, same thing. Kansas and Kansas State, despite their relative success against Nebraska, can't keep players in Kansas. That's a huge problem for them. Yeah. Um, especially after they had such a great haul, particularly in Manhattan a couple of years back. So, um, yeah, I think that, I think Nebraska fans, you know, they want to get a Cortez Mills or an Emmanuel choice or, you know, uh, somebody like that to kind of join the class. It totally makes sense. <clears throat> and I think that people want to have this kind of wave of success still kind of, you know, trying to figure out where it's going to start and what it's going to kind of deliver when it, when it comes to Dylan Riola being on the roster, being a five-star quarterback last year that Nebraska couldn't capitalize on because it was so late. So I get some of that kind of thought and that frustration. I, I'm telling you, athletically, if you were to put Bryson and Jackson out there and let them compete against some guys, they're, they're going to compare very, very well just because of their speed, their skill, you know, Jackson's Jackson size. I mean, you look at the offer last night, even like to Tanner Church. Tanner Church is almost like a, a Jackson Carpenter clone. I mean, that's a 4-3 guy that's running like low 10 nines. I mean, uh, it, it's, uh, it, I think that Nebraska is getting guys that fit their profile, and then they're, they're still trying to find ways to kind of work out from the regional to the national guys. I, I just I, I mentioned it this morning. I think offensive tackles and wide receivers, 
they're on a little bit different of a schedule to trimming list, top list, final yeah. list, down to commitment. And I, I just don't think it's Nebraska's quite up to speed there in, the, in that area. Well, and then there's a, a group of in-state guys who probably aren't yeah. looked at in the same light as as the the other two that we just mentioned there or or a couple in the class that we've already mentioned. And you, you wrote about them a little bit today for, for Tunnel Talk, whether it's Christian Jones or Chase Lofton or uh, Ryman Zebert. Um, mm-hmm. you know, those guys seem to be on a little bit of a different plane. How do you feel about those guys? And you could throw Pierce, Pierce Mooberry into that same conversation. Yeah. yeah, no, I I think for the first time ever, I would say things are better than 50-50 with all of the guys that Nebraska's offered in-state in the 2025 class. And, and you and I, I think we've talked about it. I haven't felt good about, you know, things, you know, with Jones, with Zeber, or, or even with Lofton for a while. I, I just felt like the, the schools that were coming out of the woodwork, number one, were, uh, you know, directly trying to challenge, you know, Nebraska to kind of keep everybody home. The, the visits that they that each one of them were taking, I mean, Lofton had canceled the visit April 1st, finally got back that following Saturday. Jones hadn't been in Nebraska since Thanksgiving, and he showed up last Saturday. Uh, you know, Zebert was there in January, but he makes a couple other trips, his offers, and his stock has kind of continued to soar. And it just hasn't like been that he had really connected with Nebraska until last weekend when, you know, he sat down with, with Coach Rule and really had a heart to heart about stuff. So I, I think finally that Nebraska, you know, they're, they're obviously doing a bang up job between, you know, Connor and Terry and, and obviously Jackson and Vermont and they're, they want to keep those guys home. Like that, that is, that is definitely important to them. And, and the other guys, like you say, like a little bit of a plane higher, you know, they're, they're, they're rated a little bit higher. They've got more of a national kind of feel to them. Um, but, uh, I, I feel like finally Nebraska is in a good place with all of those guys and could potentially lock down the border this year. So that's a, that's a really good feeling. It's going to be interesting. Like I said, it's still going to be uncomfortable. I expect Christian Jones to take. Yeah multiple all five official visits or more you know to schools that are going to maybe make nebraska feel like they're a little bit at risk right now so just got to kind of buckle up with him i think mooberry is the closest out of the next four guys that we just kind of talked about and i think like i said i think things are way better shaped with zebert often than they ever were what do they have um is is everything kind of visits wise on hold at the moment prior to the spring game or i guess what are the next uh, you know, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten days here look like. Yeah, you get Broderick Scholl in tomorrow, and that's a really pretty critical guy to host. I mean, we had a Chad Simmons from on three was out there on the road, and he stopped in to see the big speed Oklahoma offensive tackle. He's a big dude. He's like six six, two eighty. You know, good sized guy. He's got SEC offers, Big Twelve offers. Everybody's trying to trying to get a, trying to get in to kind of take a visit. This is a big visit for Nebraska this weekend because we have kind of quietly seen a lot of tackles, you know, not include Nebraska on their official visit plan. Babaloa, uh, um, Nick, uh, Nick uh, uh, the guy from over uh, in, in Iowa, and the last name is kind of is escaping me at the moment, but, but Scholl and Lang are two guys that I think, Jack Lang are two guys that I think Nebraska has got to have kind of circled right now about being kind of those top flight offensive tackles that they really have a chance to kind of go ahead and get. Show coming in for an unofficial next week or this weekend, excuse me, is a big deal. You also get Ren Brown from Stanton, Nebraska to come in next Tuesday. Now I, I know this is not a guy that plays 11 man football. I've seen this guy in person. He is a massive human being. He's, and he's grown up very, very quickly. You know, he's six foot five and a half, six, six, two ninety ish. He just picked up an offer from Oregon State last night. Um, so there's some things that are happening over the coming days leading up to what I would consider to be the second largest official visit weekend that we can kind of expect, you know, before July. Ryan Munson, HuskerOnline.com. Okay, now, Munson, you can uh, start to enjoy your weekend. Appreciate the time, as always, my ah, friend. See you later. I'm loose, loosing the tie, buddy. All right. Be good. Be good. Ryan Munson of HuskerOnline.com. He said – now. Daniel commented in. He said, "It begins when he starts talking to us. That's what not, he said. Not when he's done. So that means he's already checked out while he's talking to us. You could tell <laughs> that guy was not dialed in." <laughs>
we want we want people to have their guard down a little bit. That's right. You know? That's when that's, you get them to say something. That, that's when you get them. So we'll see if we could pull off the same thing with Brian Christofferson of Husker 24-7. He joins us on the other side on the Connor Hamper Show in 1620 The Zone. Mornings with Sharp and Handley. Yep. I am so glad that the, like, the Easter Bunny is like bored and no kids are coming to see him. Because I think there is no good-looking Easter Bunny costume. <laughs> right. This is my yearly TED Talk. <laughs> the true. Easter Bunny costume is the most hideous yeah. costume around the holiday that is out there. It's true. And so, good on America that has stood up against throwing your kids on a stranger's lap that is wearing a hideous bunny costume. Yep. We can do better. We are doing better. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Mornings with Sharp and Handley. Weekdays 6 to 10. On 1620 The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from the Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV News Watch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Chilly start to Friday. Expect more sunshine in the morning, then more cloud cover through the afternoon. Breezy at times with northwest winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 50s. Freeze possible overnight as lows drop into the lower 30s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV News Watch 7. The Connor Happer Show returns in minutes on 1620 The Zone. Shop Lanahan Nurseries for the highest quality bulk mulch. Buy your mulch straight from where it's made. Convenient pickup or free local delivery of five yards or more. Lanahan Nurseries, 192nd and Center. Spring is sprung, and you know what? You need to look good. You need to get your fit looking like rad. And Lily Clothing and Well Suited can take care of you because you got prom, you got graduation, you got weddings, and you need to look your best. And you can look your best right now. Why rent a suit? Buy a suit. And you know what? You can get a suit for as little as a $199 at Lily Clothing and Well Suited in the London Market, 132nd and West Dodge. Take care of yourself now. Why rent when you can buy this season at Lily Clothing and Well Suited? Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Adam and Eve is not giving you 10% off and not 20% off or even 40%. Your discount is even bigger. AdamandEve.com is giving you a whopping 50% off. But why stop there? In addition to 50% off, you also get 10 free gifts. That includes a racy item for him, a sensuous toy for her, and something we know you'll both enjoy. Ooh. And six extra special bonus items that are sure to rev your engine, pique your curiosity, Ooh. and even blow you away. And best of all... Free shipping. Always delivered in discreet packaging. So rethink your bedroom routine. Go to adamandeve.com and enter the station's exclusive code at checkout. Free 66. And get, you know the discount, 50% off almost any item and 10 tantalizing free gifts. That's free 66. Again, free 66. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through HIMSS, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at HIMSS, so is treating it. Just go to HIMSS.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Email on sportsmanlike conduct on the Equitable Bank Zone Inbox with whatever is on your mind, from your hot takes to what you think is one. The Zone Inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. We want to hear from you on the Equitable Bank Zone Inbox. Is this house a good price compared to others in the area? Are prices going up or down? If I don't make an offer right this very moment, will I miss my chance? These are just some of the questions a home buyer might ask. 
And these are the sorts of questions an agent who is a Realtor can help answer. Because Realtors have the expertise, data, and access to specialty training to help you navigate the process of buying a home. They provide support, guidance, and have your back every step of the way. That's what Realtors do, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than they're worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor, and Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash sports. Ramp.com slash sports. R-A-M-P dot com slash sports. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply. Hey, Brian. Brian Christofferson. I gotta take this a tap. Be right, be roney. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. Brian Christofferson, Husker 24 7, on the Connor Happer Show on 1620, The Zone. There's a current uh, discussion at the Board of Regents meeting today. The big Board of Regents meeting about. Uh, Love those regents, man. They just do a great job. No problems at all. <laughs> About alcohol at uh, Haymarket Park. Here's that one from Amy Jess of the Journal Star. Regent Kathy Wilmot does not agree with the phrasing of it enhancing the experience for fans. She wants to point out that it's only enhancing the experience for adult fans. She wants the regents to think of the families who attend these events. I want that region to shut the hell up. <laughs> Sometimes Papa needs a beer. Am I right? I just can't. I, I just can't get fired up about this. Uh, Brian Christofferson of Husker 24 seven joins us now on the 42 degrees of source hotline. BC. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing all right. Just stepped away from an omelet um, at Cultiva because uh, you're important to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Back to put that one in the open too. I got to take this. It's hap. All right, so we'll uh, we'll we'll add that Second one time. to the list. Second time in our radio history that I've stepped away from a breakfast meal for. for yeah, the show. I hate to keep interrupting you during breakfast. Maybe you no, need to move right. breakfast time up to like nine, <laughs> like a normal person. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't laying on as a guilt trip, um, but that's what I was. That was what I was doing. That's so. that's how it's it turned out. Me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Matt Rule. The other day, we we talked about this earlier in the show. Um, he said that they are aiming to be positive in the turnover margin. If Nebraska went from minus 17 in the turnover margin to positive in the turnover margin, so at least 17 you know, better than they were a year ago in terms of the margin, um, what would that mean for Nebraska's win total? They'd be at least 8-4. and four. Agreed. Um, something like that. I mean, sometimes... We can overcomplicate it a bit. I mean, there's a lot of factors, though, that do play into why that stat is the way it is, so you got to consider that. But, yeah, if they flip that number as significant as it was last year, um, there's no question in my mind they would improve their win total by at least three games. Um, I think the schedule allows for that, um, too. So that's, that's my initial thought on it. Um, now, the thing with that is, I'd have to go refresh my memory, but since like the turn of the century, which sounds dramatic, but is accurate. Um, I think Nebraska has been plus like a, three times, maybe, you know, it's something like that. I have it's it tracked those... back to 2013 and they've only been plus once during that period of time. Yeah. Um, I don't, they're minus, think it was they're minus, better. they're minus 65 overall since 2013. Yeah. I mean, though, within a lot of, long extended frame i was talking about i remember like bose when he was d coordinator they had you know they had him by the bundle a bunch of takeaways but uh -huh. um i've always had that season in my head like what if 
Nebraska. And, and I like that rule turns the discussion as much to the defense as he does when, you know, talking about obviously the offensive numbers are ridiculous with how they gave it away. But he points out Nebraska also only took it away 13 times last year. And so when we talk about that side of the ball being elite um, or trying to make that step, that to me is a big part of it. It's like, can you be that just, you know, not just getting off the field, but absolute game changers where you, uh, you wreck a quarterback, you pick it up and you run it in, you know, that kind of play that just flips the game completely. Uh, just haven't been enough of those, you, you know, could simplify it down to, I think you know, there's gotta be just more hits where you, you, you knock the ball on the turf and there's a chance to get it. I don't think Nebraska has done that near enough, even when they've played good defense. So I like that the conversation turns to both sides, both sides of the ball. And I think both sides of the ball agree. They can, they can point the thumb back at themselves on things they got to get better at. So they were, they were bottom quarter in the country in, in both takeaways and giveaways last year. So they were 93rd in the country in amount of turnovers that they actually gained or forced on defense. And then, you know, the last in the country, basically in, in turnovers that they lost on offense. I guess it seems like maybe too easy of an answer, but you kind of led me into it. But uh, in you know, the offense has the best chance to to get better, right? And some of that is just by like osmosis and luck. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I don't plan on Nebraska turning it over thirty one more times this year. But like, how high can that number go? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the offense is the easiest road toward like flipping the script. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, just from how ridiculously bad it was. So, um, and the biggest thing to me with the offense is not, you know, you you have young quarterbacks. There's going to be a thrower or two you you're going to want back. That happens like for your favorite NFL team that you watch too. With like, if, even if you have a really good quarterback. But the biggest problem on that side to me was just the unforced errors and like you know the think about the just drop snaps and some of the lost you know, fumbles. I think it was the Purdue game where like Jeff Sims came in and, um, you know, he had that fumble and they ran it back, um, for a touchdown. And suddenly a game that wasn't interesting at all was interesting. It was just like stuff like, here you go. You just, you give Colorado 10 points right before the half. And they suddenly are playing downhill when they had no momentum. So to me with the offense, that's, that's the biggest thing is like eliminate the, stupid things where it's just like a guy is in motion you can't snap the ball to your quarterback that sort of stuff and if you can clean that up you, you go a long way on knocking that number down but I do think the defense has to hold up their end of the bargain here because we're talking about them wanting to be elite they're not afraid to say that and but they also know the test they have to pass to get there and if you got 13 of those things last year takeaways you know mate that's got to be Put it up in the 20s, you know, have one of those years where you're just ball hawks and you, you get to a game or two or three a game and uh, you, you kind of just flip the game like that. So I, I I think this is an easy conversation for the coaches to get their full team's attention, which is which is a good thing. Uh, BC, is Bly Hill the biggest riser of the spring? I mean, he's one of them. It's, it's uh, not a surprise to me because I think they knew – uh, that he, uh, he was kind of a, a late riser as far as like his weight and stuff. That's why he wasn't heavily recruited at high school. He was really a slight kid and, uh, he's at a growth spurt, but he's always had like a long, you know, he's got like a long frame of his long arms and he's just, I, I think, you know, has all the traits you like in a cornerback. Um, and he's, um, taken to the coaching really well from everything I've heard, just like adapted quickly and become one of the guys. and believes in Evan Cooper and Evan Cooper believes in him. And, uh, th- that's, that's promising to hear that. I mean, you don't want to go overboard, but Tony white was asked how the scrimmage went yesterday. And, uh, he unsolicited brought up Bly Hill mm-hmm. making plays when he was challenged. So you got to take that and say, that's, uh, that's really interesting information. So, um, not everything that comes out in the spring, um, carries the same weight as some, other headlines you see but that one i think does because of how the information was uh, uh sent out by the by the defensive coordinator so i'm definitely paying attention to that one hey, is that a good picture to you if if you're starting tommy hill and bly hill at corner by the way there's a t-shirt waiting to happen in there somewhere yeah on the it defense perfectly, yeah it, it? it really does instead of between two ferns between two hills <laughs> 
except <laughs> hopefully not a lot of comedy ensues. The the uh, the hill islands or something like that. Yeah. Um, is that a good we'll picture to you? It. Like, do you do you do you feel comfortable with with those two guys being the top corners? I mean, I think so. I I all I know about Bly Hills that the stuff I learned about him as a younger player and interviewing him, and then you know you hear the good stuff from the coaches. Uh, so you always have that question that has to be answered, like, okay, how does that look like when you're, you know, playing Colorado on national TV with all those eyeballs on you, and how do you respond to that? Because there there have been good corner or cornerbacks who have had good off seasons here before, and then you get them under the lights, and you know, you get beat once or twice, and you got to deal with that sort of mental part of the game. So that's going to be the key is we'll see like when he gets his opportunity out there, how he handles like when he suffers his first major defeat, you know, as a corner and like how you come back from it. But on the surface, uh, it's gotta be somebody like him that emerges. And that's an, it's been an interesting competition. And I think will continue to be because I think there's other guys they like, like Ethan nation and Dwight Boodle, but it's, it's going to be somebody who is relatively new to our system as far as, the game action goes at cornerback this year and so uh it, it might as well be him as much as anybody and he's making a strong case right now frank christopherson of husker 24 7 is with us what do you um do you think nebraska will be we'll talk about the portal earlier this week do you feel like nebraska's activity will ramp up there at all or i guess what do you think their approach is on the transfer portal over the next couple of weeks especially considering that you know they're not going to play their spring game until next Saturday, and then there's only a couple of days left to enter after after that point. They could still yeah. be on the lookout after that, but I guess what have you taken away from their, I guess, small amount of activity so far and what that could look like in the next few weeks? I think it is going to be a small amount of activity. I would never say never as far as I'm sure they have their eyes open, and if there's like somebody who certainly could help fill a need that they, they see, they're going to do it, but I, I don't think there's going to be a lot there connor i don't i think they they sort of have full numbers um as it stands they're obviously going to be some attrition that's going to happen after the spring i'm sure a few guys will filter out um but it's it is really different here compared to most of the country right now like a couple days ago when the portal opened you know in the 24 7 sports network which i'm a part of it was a big thing within our company. Like, you know, it starts today, guys, like who's coming and going for your team, you know, and all that. And I understand because that's the way it is in most of the places. It's just not the same here in this, in this particular portal mm-hmm. cycle as it is most other spots. So it's interesting. Like all my peers across the country with other teams are like making these lists of like the guys, you know, that could be available to them. Sort of like we're doing with basketball um, right now, I guess. But um, yeah, with, with darts, with the group we're covering, um, I, I just don't think there's going to be much. Maybe one or two additions are always possible, but I would kind of curb it right there. Uh, let's go to basketball then. Any any thought? There, they have been uh, significantly more active at this point. Uh, any thoughts on what they've brought, either what they've brought in so far, or seemingly what they're what they're aiming for, um, which seems to be outside of one isolated circumstance so far. Um, some experience and uh, you know, guys who have played a lot of minutes, whether it's in the big 10 or, or elsewhere at this point. Experience and guys who uh, have at least in their history, they can shoot it outside, you know, when they space the floor and they just have a lot of weapons where you have to respect three or four guys can, can hit you from deep. I think you're seeing that like uh, the fact that, you know, Andrew Morgan, being part of it now is sort of old news because we've moved on to other names, but I, I go back to a guy like him as we await sort of what Rink does. You know, 6'10 guy who, when Fred went up north for a couple visits with people, as far as I know, he's one of the first, maybe the first visit on that trip. And that tells me something that he's a guy whose skill set they really targeted that, that fits exactly right. Um, I think he can be a good facilitator too, probably more so than he's done at previous points in his career. So he's a guy um, that's really interesting to me. And then, um, you know, I like Gavin Griffiths, too. I know he had an off year at Rutgers um, shooting it. It was like 28% from deep. But he was he was really thought of highly coming out of the prep ranks and in his ability to stretch the floor from distance. And um, I think a new location could be good for him. And I also like that if you look right now of the eight or nine guys that are scholarship players uh, that we can account for, 
you know, most are seniors. And so at least Griffiths kind of, I don't know how much this is worth anymore, but he tips the scale a little bit where he's an underclassman. So I, I, I like if you can pick up a guy or two like that down the stretch with, with their further ad who are like sophomores or juniors or, or, you know, you have a couple years with and it's not just one and done. All right, BC, uh, we'll let you go. Back to the omelet you go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Brad Christofferson of Husker 24-7. That omelet's probably cold. Why does he eat breakfast so late? That's a great question. <laughs> BC, it's 1130. <laughs> you could have that omelet earlier. Yeah, man. The, uh, the omelet's not going to be in prime condition if you get it at 1130. I like, take, a, it, take a break and eat breakfast if you're, you know, you jump out of bed and get right to work. Or once, it, once it hits 10, I'm on to lunch. Yeah. I said, give me a sandwich. Yeah. After 10 o'clock, give me a sandwich. Uh, by the way, the Board of Regents meeting has wrapped up. A couple notes from it. Okay. The Nebraska Board of Regents motion to sell alcohol at Haymarket Park has passed. It's passed. Nine to two. Nine to two. Nine to two. There was some dissenting votes. There were. Including Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Kathy. Get who, over yourself, we Kathy. Just, who, who was worried about the children, of course. A very, I mean, somebody has to worry about the children. Won't somebody think of the children? Who else will worry about the children if not for Kathy? And uh, also Barb. Kathy and Barb were against it. Hmm. But all of the other people were like, yeah, I don't think this is a big deal at all. So let's just do that. Happens at millions of venues across our great nation. Uh-huh. And so they will, and people will enjoy uh, some brewskis. You can get a brewski at the movie theater for crying out loud. You get a brewski in a lot of places. You get yeah. a brewski at, at, uh, at Nebraska Furniture Mart. <laughs> I'd like to buy a washer, a dryer, and a beer. Sold. Done. Uh, and, and... They also passed unanimously without conversation. No, there was no dissenters on this one that Nebraska will name their new $165 million football practice facility after Tom Osborne, the Osborne Legacy Complex. It will henceforth be known as. And I think it's, it seems almost done. So oh. it, it, I think it's done like for real done. Did you see the Will Compton videos, Josh? I, uh, I assume you uh, watch the bus boys. I have not gotten to it yet. Interesting. Interesting. It's yeah. On my to do pile. I don't know if they're all moved in yet, if the whole operations over there yet, but they got to be getting close. I, I would imagine that's a that's a summer job. Summer moving. Sure. One of the days you're supposed to be working out. You're supposed to be running stadium steps. Time to actually move all the gear over. Move these boxes in, boys. That's awesome. That's that's college football at its finest mm-hmm. right there. So it'll be known as the Tom Osborne Free Legacy Complex. And those things are, are done. So enjoy your brewskis at Haymarket Park this evening as Nebraska hosts Maryland. Crab cakes, football, and beers tonight at the yard. Uh, Josh will have the odd news when we return on 1620 The Zone. Omaha's most listened to all sports radio station. Again and again and again. 1620 The Zone. Make the right call. John Higgins Weather Guard. The home of the Wolverines. You're thinking about the summer season, but have you thought about storm season? Have no fear. John Higgins Weather Guard is here. For roofing, siding, and gutter repair, make the right call to John Higgins Weather Guard. John Higgins Weather Guard, the home of the Rufferies. Make the right call. It's the sale you wait for all year. It's the 42 Degrees 420 sale. And this year, the sale is hitting a new high. For three days only, this weekend, get 42% off the entire store. Say what? You heard right. 42% off the entire store. Exclusions apply. This is a sale that can only happen at the home of 420. 42 Degrees. It's the 420 sale going on now at 42 Degrees. Your dispensary for top-tier cannabis, second-to-none product selection, and exceptional service by your mom's house. 
Hey, baseball fans, join the Blur Tailgate at Hilton Omaha this June for our 12th annual hospitality event during the College Baseball Championship Series. Book an experience for your clients or employees with an inclusive bar, buffet, TVs, music, and tailgate games. Secure your spot today and let Blur Events take care of all the work so you can enjoy the day. Plus, we're just steps away from Charles Schwab Field. Visit BlurEvents.com to book your group, buy tickets, or learn about sponsorships. That's BlurEvents.com, your college baseball and football tailgate destination. Come join OSI Industries in Oakland, Iowa. Does a retention bonus and a $3 an hour attendance incentive sound good to you? Besides competitive pay starting at $17.50 and up per hour, overtime is available. OSI Oakland offers great benefits including medical, dental, vision, and 401k. OSI Oakland is hiring for all shifts including production and maintenance. Apply at osigroup.com slash careers or at their plant Monday and Wednesday 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Must have ID and closed toe and heeled shoes to enter the plant. OSI is an equal opportunity employer. Bonuses are subject to eligibility and program requirements. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on IdentifyEPI.com and talk to your doctor. That's IdentifyEPI.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. LeBron and Steph working in the play-in tournament. That's right, and you can get on the action as well. John and Josh here for the FanDuel Sportsbook. The NBA play-in tournament giving the teams the chance to play their way into the postseason. So it only seems right that new customers on FanDuel can play their way into $150. Just place any $5 bet. You'll get $150 in bonus bets, win or lose, to use during the entirety of the NBA playoffs. John, whether it is the total, an over or an under, first basket score, prop bets, and a whole lot more. Again, just go to FanDuel.com slash 1620 and make the beginning of the NBA playoffs so enjoyable and rewarding for you. Again, FanDuel.com slash 1620, $150 in bonus bets, win or lose. 21 plus and present in Iowa, first online real money wager only. $10 first deposit is required. Bonus issued is non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. And now we've reached the point in the show where Josh Odson reads the peculiar, the bizarre, the comical, the odd news with Odd Son. Odd news, Odd Son. See what we did there? The odd news with Odd Son. What is it from? Is that from something? Rocky and Bullwinkle. Really? Yeah. I used to watch that show. Yeah. I don't remember that part. Is that like the opening credits? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. something like that. I don't remember it either. Hmm. All right, Josh, what do we got today? Uh, We go to a lot of podcast stories today, a lot of sports podcasts. A lot of things happen on podcasts nowadays. Uh, We go to uh, The the Source, uh, Hoke and Crowder show. Maybe Hawk and Crowder. Not sure. Like Brian, Brian Hoke? Uh, Mark Hochman, okay. Hockman, maybe. Oh, okay. It sounds like a radio show. Yeah, it it probably is both. Um, a conversation about the Cavender twins, the uh, basketball playing duo, who yesterday recommitted to Miami after taking a year off. Love that for them. Uh, briefly cost former NFL player and current sports talk host Channing Crowder his tooth. 
during uh-huh. Wednesday, during Wednesday's show, Mark Hockman uh, and Channing Crowder were in a discussion about Hannah and Haley's decision to return to Miami uh, after a short-lived pursuit of a WWE career. Crowder mentioned the sisters have a connection with UM. The connection was there last year. Crowder got very excited, and then he said, but they thought they were going to be wrestlers. The back and forth briefly continued. Uh, before produce the producer, uh, Alejandro Solana, changed the subject, asking Crowder an important question. Hey, Crowder, just a few seconds ago when you got real excited, did you lose one of your teeth? <laughs> did it just fall out of your mouth? Nice. Uh, he said, yes, yes, I think so. A slow motion replay made it clear that, yes, he had, in fact, lost a tooth. Uh, Shannon Crowder stepped away from the show to fix the matter. Uh, as he did. Did he fix it himself? I think so. He just shoved it back in? Yeah, and he sat back down minutes later. Is it a fake tooth? Uh, it is a new tooth. A new tooth? It is described in this article as a new tooth. I don't know if it is real or fake. Got to be one of those dental uh, flippers, work. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he said, I'm good to go now. I got him back in. Everybody's got fake teeth now, man. Yeah. Have we talked about this before? It's a real thing in this country. Everybody has Absolutely. fake teeth. And in a lot of cases, they don't look they don't look right. They don't look real. No. Too much tooth in your mouth. Too mu- Yeah. They're either too much tooth. They're too white. Too white. You know, there's you got to... Mm-hmm. I, I like my teeth that look like they've been in my mouth for decades. Absolutely. That, that's, Great take by you. That's how I like my teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go to another podcast for story number two. This one may be a little more popular or at least well-known. New Heights. No, not that popular. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, but, Probably very close in the rankings, though. LeBron and J.J. Reddick. No, no. Uh, pardon my take. Okay, okay. They had uh, Celtics head coach Joe Mazzula on. Oh, you love that guy. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> but they, they win in spite of him. Uh, last year, he came on Pardon My Take and told the boys how much he loves the movie The Town. That's right. I remember that story. He watches it every day, according to Joe Mazzula. Okay, that's a little much. <laughs> uh, this year, he revealed... One of his uh, biggest fears on the show. And while I appreciate him sharing a vulnerability with the audience. Might come back to haunt him a little bit. I I am going to strike. um, He's afraid of revolving doors. Really? He is uh, is afraid. Well, they can be a bit, you know, I mean, a lot can happen. He is worried about getting trapped. Yeah. What if the door stops revolving? Yes. He, he is worried about getting trapped. Uh, he says there's a, a very big risk. Uh, well, he's going to get pranked on this. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to stop the revolving door. Mm-hmm. Now, have you ever tried, like, I, I'm trying to think of the last, I guess the last revolving door that I've been through is at the airport. Right. Okay. Yeah. They got, they have you ever tried to one? stop that door? I, I think I once tried to like no. slow it down. No. And I'm pretty sure it just, go, it just keeps going. Like it's, it's motor powered. It just keeps going. Like it's not, it's not human powered where it runs off of people pushing it. It just goes all the time. Uh, Joe says he never uses revolving doors. He studies the exits of every room he's in. That's insane. And he, uh, uses, uh, cartoons with his kids as a chance to teach them lessons about revolving doors. Now, is that more or less irrational than being afraid of heights? Heights is total. Uh, that's that's completely real, right? I don't know. Like, I I mean, I'm not gonna fall off of a giant building. I, like, mm-hmm. it's not rational. I'm willing to admit that. But you're you're not afraid of the height. You're afraid of the fall from that height. That's a perfectly reasonable thing to be afraid yeah, of. Yeah, but he's yes. afraid. He's he's not afraid of the door. He's afraid of getting trapped in the door. Okay, then what happens? You're tra- you're trapped. Maybe he's claustrophobic. I, I don't think you're trapped. I think someone would go, "Oh, hey, that door that's always moving isn't moving. Something's wrong. Let are me you, let me go get the door, man." Are you scared of getting trapped in an elevator? Um. Have you slash have you ever been trapped in an elevator? I have not been trapped in an elevator. I have been trapped in an elevator a couple times. Couple of times. Yes. Once in the Grand Ole Opry. 
or the, or the Opryland Hotel. Oh my goodness! Yes. Okay. That was a good one. You know, we had to press a button and call uh-huh. the people, and they came and they got us. The only the only bad thing about it is it gets a little, you know, warm, and then mm-hmm. uh, you have to sit there. Did and you wait. have to establish a pee corner? No, you just have to sit there and wait. They'll they'll get there in the, in like fifteen minutes. So you're just, it's it's just a waste of time. If okay. anything, that's what I would be most afraid of. If I was going through a revolving door, did Jack and Harry save you? Uh, basically, did they pry that thing open? Yeah, I mean, they—that's th- what they have to do. They have to pry the door open, and they, you know, come come reach in and grab you out. Were you worried that when they pulled yes. you out, the yes. elevator was going to start working again and chop your body in half? Definitely. Definitely, it would it would cross my mind for sure. Now th- they have they have some things in place where that like can't happen. I oh, think really yeah okay I, I don't know if that's actually true but that's what they tell you <laughs> that's what they tell you what a great bit no no the elevator can't chop you in half the, the, there's precautions in place and it puts you at ease but it's not true <laughs> you actually get off the elevator and the fireman looks at you he's like that's not true <laughs> i lied to hey, you. why is that guy back there making that face <laughs> i lied to you just then <laughs> i i'm sorry but i did lie to you just then. <laughs> But you got out. He's lying to you. Uh, yeah. So, oh, maybe one day you'll get stuck in an elevator. We can only dream, right? I would vlog it. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to see what your takeaway would be. Mm-hmm. I would and, use it for content. And then Joe Mazzula, one time he gets stuck in a revolving door. Stuck in a revolving door. I don't know that that's actually happened to anyone. This guy's weird, man. You got to fire this guy. Yeah, he's a weird guy. Yeah. But I do like the tip. I, I, a lot. I, I understand that, like. Don't watch it every day, though. He. They needed a coach immediately, and he yeah. was the guy. Yep. Whatever happened with that, by the way? He's nope. he's staying. It nobody, seems like nobody knows. Uh, finally, we go to Red Lobster. Are you a fan of Red Lobster? I have not been to Red Lobster in a long amount of time. Same here. Uh, but I would say generally, sure. Okay. I, I don't know if I'm a fan, but okay. I, I, I wouldn't mind sitting down and eating some lobster okay well they are uh, filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy according to several news sources now what does that mean for our red lobsters it's, i i don't think this is a hey we're closing it's not a chapter. liquidation situation right right um because a lot of a lot of companies file for bankruptcy and nothing happens in the fourth quarter. this is one of those in the fourth quarter of 2023 red lobster reportedly lost 12 and a half million dollars Scale down the well. How I mean, you gotta buy happen? lobster all the time. How did that happen, Josh? Well, the endless shrimp promotion got him, bit him in the butt, huh? It's, it's not a joke. They lost twelve and a half million dollars on their endless shrimp promotion. Just on endless shrimp, I believe so. So, what's the what's the uh, what's the deal then? It makes me sound interested. Well, they have the shrimp fest. You come in and it's all you can eat shrimp. They'll just keep bringing you shrimp, all different kinds of shrimp until your pants are splitting at the seams because we're we're a fat nation. Really? They just keep giving it to you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's all you can eat shrimp. And people took them up on that to the tune of twelve and a half million dollars. Uh, no kidding. They're seeking advice from a commercial law firm to figure out how to restructure and cut costs. Uh, they have not made a final decision whether or not to file for bankruptcy, I guess, but it is noted uh, that they will continue to operate no matter what. Uh, $12.5 million operating loss in the fourth quarter of 2023, despite raising the price for its endless shrimp promotion. <laughs> now, are, you, are we sure it was just endless shrimp? It's got to cost a lot of money to be selling lobsters the way that they do. I imagine there's probably some labor costs in here as well. You have some extra wait staff on hand that you don't need. Where are you reading this story from? People Magazine. Yeah, okay. I clicked on the same one. So in the past several months, Red Lobster has tried to drum up some publicity. In February, the chain announced that it would offer a limited number of guests a free endless a free meal of endless lobster Whoa! in honor of Lobster Fest. Like a golden ticket. The restaurant chain announced that the first ever endless lobster experience would give 150 winners across the country a chance to enjoy a complimentary two-hour dinner of endless lobster, two side dishes, and popular cheddar biscuits, of course. Of course. Red, uh, Red Lobster has been known for its endless shrimp deal. The company made it a permanent menu option in June 
and the price increased from twenty to twenty-five dollars as a result of the losses. Twenty-five bucks for endless shrimp. That's endless a sick shrimp. deal, man. Yeah, all you can eat shrimp. That's amazing. Twenty-five bucks. Yep, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Sir, Maybe they gotta don't start. Don't you think uh, you've had enough? I'll tell you what I've had enough. They gotta start. They gotta start slow playing you like the fries people at Red Robin. Oh yeah. Like takes you, like 12 minutes. When they say it's endless fries, bottomless fries at Red Robin, they bring out your first fry with your burger. And that basket's overflowing and it looks great. And you say, here's what here's what you do. I've been to Red, Red Robin in a long time. You say, can you send me my second basket of fries right now? Right now. Because it takes them 15 more minutes to make the fries. And by the time you've eaten all the fries or your first batch of fries, mm-hmm. you're full from the burger and the fries. So you better you better load up. You better load up. And they're going to start filling that basket less and less each time. Indeed. They bring it to you. Just a few steak fries in there by the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, A couple comments here. One from Mike. Hi, Mike. One of my favorite bits is to get into the same section of revolving door with someone else just to make things awkward. Joe Mazzula would not like you. Well, Joe Mazzula would not be in that revolving door with you. He wouldn't be using revolving doors. He doesn't use them. That's how much he's afraid of this situation. He also says Red Lobster is already dead in Crime Town. Mm. Is, is our Red Lobster uh, like 144th and center over by the Oakview Mall still open? I think it's still open, even though that area is less than thriving. Do we have any more? We have one on 72nd as well. 72nd and what? Uh, close to Dodge. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, by, yeah, yeah. By, by the Mart. Yeah, yeah, by the Mart. By, yeah, Where you by, can get a beer. Definitely by the Mart. Where you can get a beer. You get a beer at Red Lobster, too. And a Nebraska baseball game. Uh, Mr. Rick writes in. Hi, Mr. Rick. Didn't one of the Godfather movies teach us that you could get whacked when someone stops a revolving door? Yes, that's true. Which Godfather was that in? I believe it was the first one. I don't remember ba- that. Baptism so many people got whacked in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jason and Pender says Red Lobster is a guilty pleasure of mine. Oh, they've also started limiting people on the cheddar biscuits oh come on i hope they don't close because a few times a year i enjoy stuffing my fat dad bod with all kinds of shrimp uh one trapped in an elevator story oh please yes from the 402 i 402 i was trapped in an elevator in college with the old cleaning lady <laughs> had to deal with my friends giving me crap about what we may have been doing in there while we were stuck <laughs> we have to keep the american population going man <laughs> who knows what's going on out there (laughs) all right uh i'm watching the godfather baptism scene right now they they go through the revolving door yeah mo green's about to get shot in the eye bam there it is yikes we'll be back uh simple join us at the bottom of the hour more to come on a friday edition of the connor happer show on 1620 the zone live from the host coffee studio this is 1620 the zone host is roasting every morning Host is roasting every day. Put your coffee department in good hands with Host Coffee Service, providing direct delivery and loaned coffee equipment with service programs. If you're ready to change to a better coffee provider, it's time for Host Coffee. Omaha's best coffee since 1972. Host Coffee is always roasting something good for you. Hi, this is John Bishop. Since the day I got my driver's license, I've had a check next to the organ and tissue donor box. It's a selfless gift because healthy organ donors can save up to eight lives. And with tissue donation, dozens more can get the gift of sight and burn victims can get life-changing skin grafts. Anybody can register and there's no cost to you or your family. Check that organ donor box next time you renew your license or visit goodguyssavelives.com. Learn more about organ and tissue donation today and see how you can save eight lives at goodguyssavelives.com. Standard Heating and Air Conditioning is and has always been locally owned and operated. Now, with 160 employee owners, chances are one of us lives in your neighborhood. We take pride in taking care of you, our customers, and keeping you comfortable all year round. And as always, our technicians don't have sales quotas. When other companies send salespeople, Standard Sense Qualified Technicians is just part of. Carrier, turn to the experts. Do you like to shoot fireworks? Would you like to get 
paid to shoot fireworks? JM Displays wants you. Help shoot an Omaha Storm Chasers game, Memorial Park Display, or any of the major shows in Western Iowa and all of Nebraska. If you like to travel, JM covers Nebraska, Kansas, and most of Missouri. They offer free training and great daily pay rates, which makes it a perfect part time job. Visit JMDisplays.com and click the Join Our Team tab to find out more. JM Fireworks. Are Nebraska craft beers and ciders important to you? Whether you just love Nebraska brewed beers and ciders or you're a full-fledged craft brewery, there are benefits to membership for anyone with the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild. Their sole mission is to foster and help grow the Nebraska-centric brewing community. Become a member today at Nebraska.beer and help advance the craft beer and cider industry in the state of Nebraska. Find out more about the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild at Nebraska.beer. It's time for the 2024 NFL Draft. NFLShop.com has everything you need to welcome the newest class of rookies with the largest assortment of officially licensed draft gear for all 32 teams. Shop official New Era draft caps, draft t-shirts, jerseys, and more. Get ready to rep the newest members of your team for the 2024 season with an unbeatable selection of gear to showcase your team pride and style. To shop now, go to NFLShop.com. I want to learn how to cook, but I keep ordering takeout. I plan to rearrange my closet, but I stopped after picking the clothes up off the floor. Accomplishing goals is hard, but when your goal is to learn a new language, Babbel makes it easy. In just 15 minutes a day, Babbel's award-winning language learning app will help you start speaking another language. Start having conversations in as little as three weeks. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Vous êtes où? Vous êtes où? Babbel's bite-sized lessons make it easy to learn words and phrases you'll actually use. So when someone asks, How's your French going? You can say, Babbel est amusant et facilite grandement l'apprentissage d'une nouvelle langue. Et cela ne prend que 15 minutes par jour. When you want to really learn another language, it starts with Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop tickets for less dot com. K-O-Z-N Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. Let's get back to the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Welcome back to the Connor Amper Show. You're on 1620 The Zone and on 1620thezone.com. Look at this. Nebraska baseball just tweeted, new ballpark sound unlocked. And I, I can only assume it's just a sound of... Yeah. My children! <laughs> why, did they, why did you puke all over this kid? <laughs> That's what Kathy thinks is going to happen tonight. Uh, it turns out people can handle themselves generally. Or at least are used to this being a thing in public. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that way. All right, Simple, join us at the bottom of the hour. Uh, the NCAA is all about making new rules right now. Op- optional technology rules in football affected for the 2024 season were approved by the Playing Rules Oversight Panel on Thursday. Catchy name. In games involving FBS teams, each school will have the option to use coach-to-player communications through the helmet to one player on the field. That player will be identified by having a green dot on the back of the midline of the player's helmet. Usually, you give it to the quarterback. I would think you would, yes. (laughs) Imagine not giving it to your quarterback. Give it to the running back, and he can tell the quarterback, look, dum-dum, this is the play. The communication from the coach to player will be turned off with 15 seconds on the play clock or when the ball is snapped, whichever comes first. For all three divisions, teams have the option of using tablets to view in-game video only. The video can include the broadcast feed and camera angles from the coach's sideline and coach's end zone. Teams can have up to 18 active tablets for use in the coaching booth, sideline, and locker room. Tablets cannot be connected to other devices to project larger additional images 
and cannot include analytics data or data access capability or other communication access. All team personnel will be allowed to view the tablets during the game. Um, the Football Rules Committee, which met the last week of February, had a thorough discussion regarding wearable technologies. The committee invites non-FBS conferences that are interested in wearing wearable technologies to submit an experimental proposal to the committee. Any proposals must be submitted by June 15th. Ah, uh, there you go. In short, the the helmet walkie-talkies are uh, locked in for this coming season. Also locked in, I, I, I have a comment on the helmet thing real quick, or, or in, a, in a second after I get through the rest of this. Uh, the two-minute warning. In colleges, they're going to call it, maybe they should come up with a cool rebrand for the two-minute warning. Like, party time! And then a whole bunch of clowns come out of the field and start dancing it's the dr pepper party break could be fun dr pepper snack break the panel approved it adding an automatic timeout when two minutes remain in the second and the fourth quarters the rule change synchronizes all timing rules such as 10 second runoffs and stopping the clock on a first down is gained in bounds which coincides with the two minute timeout um and oh, 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 there's one at the bottom that says uniforms. Am I going to be triggered about this? Uh oh. The panel did not support a uniform rule proposal made by the rules committee. Panel members were not comfortable with on field officials having to enforce the recommended rule. What is it? The panel understands the rules committee concerns, but encourages the committee to look for administrative solution does not include game official enforcement. Mm, I don't even know what it was. They just said no to it. Good job by them. All right, so the helmet technology. Now, I'm not mad about this. I want to make it very clear that I'm not mad. I hope that nobody says I'm mad because I'm not mad. Feels like there's a butt. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But I do. This is going to sound really dumb, Josh. You're locked in for this. All right. What do you got? I don't really like watching college baseball games where the dudes are looking at their wristbands and their the the thing is coming through their ear and the catcher's got to press the button. And it feels like more often than not, I'm watching the damn baseball games and the catcher's looking down at his knee pad and he's hammering the buttons because it don't work. In Major League Baseball, no reliever's pitch com has ever worked. I know. It, it, there, is, there is a malfunction once a game, yes. it feels like, with this. And so maybe the answer is just make it better. But I also like, you know, I like I like flashing down the sides between the legs. You know, I like that. I think that's fun. I like the. I love a guy shaking it off like three or four yeah, times. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Gives you the wipe, you know, start over. Okay, start <laughs> over. And the, the catcher painting his fingernails different colors so you could see uh -huh, it uh -huh. in the twilight. That's fun. Um, and this, I think, is an actual potentially halfway cogent point. Um, I like the idea that you could steal signs. Not not to the level that Michigan did it last year with Connor their... Connor here from Michigan. No, I, not to the level that Michigan did it last year with all their advanced scouting and literally watching, like, no. But in, in a game, and I, I'm mostly making comparisons back to baseball here, um, but, like, and, and it happens in basketball, too. Like, I, I hear it all the time where basketball coaches call out plays. It comes from one bench, and they say, Maverick. And and the other coach on the other bench says, hey, they're doing Maverick. And so we got to get something that sets up in that. Like, there's there's a real chess game in there um, that that I think makes the game fun. It takes it another level deeper. Um, and I'm not, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not, don't, don't put it online that I'm mad, because I'm not mad. Do not tell the internet that I'm mad because I'm not mad, but I do think there's an added um, fun human chess game that goes into not having all the technology in the sport in sports that we have right now. This is a more general problem that I have rather than specifically put in the microphones in the helmets. I hear you. Thank you. I want to be you for listening. I hear you. I don't even disagree with you. It feels like we're getting somewhere. But 
damn it. This is great. We've reached the 1980s in college football. We have. We've we've finally maybe the turn of the century yeah, even, Josh. Yeah. It's it's really nice. Yeah, it, you would like to see things like this, options like this be, you know, a little bit quicker to adapt in the sport of college football. And like I said, I don't have I don't have a problem with it. Like I'm not I'm not mad about this. Once again, do not say that I'm mad. Do not put it on the internet that I'm mad. <laughs> no. But I like I I just really want to preserve as much of the human element as we could possibly get. And people say, Connor, Connor, the human element sucks. Why can't we, if we have the opportunity, same thing with replay, right? If we have the opportunity to get stuff right, then why don't we just get it right? Angel Hernandez is human. Do you like him? I I like, it's kind of fun that we have a heel umpire (laughs) who who says, fire me. I dare you to fire me. That way I could sue you for racism. He is office spacing his MLB umpiring job. He really right is. He really is. And it's working. He just, he'll be behind the plate in game one of the World Series this year. <laughs> be like, what's going on? So um, I want to preserve as much of the human element mm-hmm. as we could possibly get in sports. That's all. It feels like we lose that the further and further we go and we get a little bit more robotic. And sure, that's 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 a little sad to me. I would like to wildly speculate as to the first Big Ten team that has stadium issues <laughs> yeah. with their helmet. Comp. Oh, that's the other thing. The big house. This thing bleeps up all the time. It's the big this, house. This, this thing messes up constantly. Oh, hey, we're playing a game at Gillette Stadium today. I know our helmet microphones aren't going to work. So all I'm, all I'm saying is the the best teams, they better be prepared to do a couple plays without how often because I hear it all the time. NFL quarterbacks talking about how yeah, something was wrong with the I had to get a new helmet or um the, the thing start stopped working in my helmet and um it cut off too soon. So I, I ran the wrong play in. Yeah, we're well, cut, cuts off at 15 seconds. So yeah. Don't get the finished play so in there. If 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 we're putting all of our eggs in the basket of robots and technology, fine, but it better damn work. Right, better work all the time. That's all. But the human element, I love the human it element. Means the the tech won't work like it's supposed to. Well, if if you if you have the human element, then it's not. There is no tech to be mad at. The only thing that you could be mad at is yourself. <laughs> oh, I read it wrong. Well, whose fault is that? That's your fault. That's your fault. Oh, we played a game of telephone just to get to play into the quarterback, which does happen. And it got translated in the wrong way. Damn it. We ran a go route when we should have ran a quarterback sneak. <laughs> Sad. Uh, Roger writes in on Twitter. Hi, Roger. Poll question, is Happer mad? Hmm? Do not put it on the internet that I'm mad. Jeff writes in. Hi, Jeff. Old man Hap doesn't like technology. What an awful take. Text from the 402. Sounds like a poll question. Is Connor mad about the helmet rule? I'm not mad once again. I love I love technology. I know about technology. I have the best technology. Don't worry. I love technology. I get the coolest new phones every time they come out, but sometimes they don't work. And sometimes the old phone is better. <laughs> sometimes I wish, man, I wish I could have a little flip phone again and I could chuck it against the wall and nothing would happen to it. Nothing. I could drop it out of an airplane and it would be fine. Every once in a blue moon, I long for a time where I could chuck my phone against the wall just because yeah. I'm so angry. Yeah. Everything's so breakable now. <laughs> that Maybe that's the problem. Everything's made of glass. Why is everything so made of glass now? <laughs> John emails in. Hi, John. If you want to see people actually throw their beer on the field, uh, put the dancing clowns out there during the two-minute warning. <laughs> Are the uh, the superstars coming back tonight? <laughs> Put the superstars on there. The, the two minute warning. Good idea. Another text. Anyone that says I'm not mad is mad. <laughs> I just wanted to be clear up front with you guys that I'm not mad because I'm not mad. It's fine. Just wanted to be clear that I wasn't mad. 
and that I value the human element in our sports. As a married man. I hate looking at the stupid pictures, looking at the wristbands all the time. Beep, boop, pop, boop. It's stupid. Throw the sign down. One, two, three, four. Wiggle. You know? Arrow this way. That means pick it off the first or hit fist or whatever it is. It's really easy. Fly ball to left. He catches it. It's a routine play. And then he pulls that card out of his back pocket. I know. A giant card. Like, okay, who's up next? Where yeah, do I go? When, when, when you could just look to the dugout and the coach says, move three steps that way. Done. <laughs> like, we've made it a little bit complicated. I blame Michigan for this entire thing. Yeah. This doesn't yeah. happen if, it, if it's not for Michigan going way. And by the way, this does not fix any of the well, I guess it does. It cuts it off a little bit because Michigan, what they did and why they got in trouble because they sent that guy Connor Stallions to the games before, and he would be in disguise or something like that, and then he would get all the signs. So it it does cut that off a little bit. Um, and it was the same thing with the Astros and in baseball. Hey, let's throw the pitch come in there, you know. But it doesn't it doesn't like make it better. It just it prevents people who have taken advantage of the rules from taking advantage of the rules. All the stuff that happens in the game is totally cool, totally legal, totally normal. You throw the sign between the legs and the guy on second base is like, hey, you know, give him some sort of signal, whatever, sliders coming. That's cool. That's I, I think that's a part of baseball. I think that's a good thing. Imagine if I was a pitcher, like if I was a pitcher and – the the catcher started hammering his leg because he couldn't hit the button right, and then all of a sudden in my ear it was like throw a slider now. I would be so pissed. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Once again, not mad. Jack John tweets in Connor isn't mad, but the more we keep saying he's mad, <laughs> he's starting because to get I'm mad. I'm making me mad. I'm making me mad. Ed uses the uh, Clint Eastwood GIF on uh, Connor looking at technological advances it's just Clint Eastwood. is that from trouble with the curve i think it is actually trouble with the curve or grand torino i'm not sure which one by the way did you see that picture of clint eastwood recently uh yeah he's not uh not great he's very old not great he's yeah. very old clint eastwood would agree with me he's 93 you know how wise clint eastwood is mm -hmm. that guy gets it hey his birthday is our birthday week oh we should really? invite him what uh, what day? Twenty what? Thirty first. Thirty first. Yeah, we should invite him. Good idea. Send it to our party planner. I mean, what the hell else he's got going on? Uh, John emails in. Hi, John. Connor, you may not be mad, but you sure sound like Nick when he tells John and Josh he oh, isn't mad man. when he obviously is. No, I'm not mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm just I'm just talking. Steve Sipple is next. I wonder what Sipple thinks about technology. I'm curious. Next on 1620 The Zone. Previously on The Crossover. I have mostly sports things that I want nothing to do with muted. Okay. Major League Baseball, muted. <laughs> Baseball, muted. I thought you loved the Mets. Uh, I did. Yeah. Mahomes, Chiefs, Harbaugh, Wolverines, Michigan, FIFA World Cup, Goal? Qatar, Goal. World Cup. VAR, USMTAC, World suck. Cup, Wordle. I got lots on him. Mornings with Sharp and Hanley, the Connor Happer Show on Sportsman Like Conduct, 6A to 6P, 1620, The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from the Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV News Watch 7 on 1620, The Zone. Cool this afternoon with breezy winds out of the northwest up to 25 miles an hour and a high in Omaha 58. Clouds will increase this afternoon, becoming mostly cloudy mainly after 4 p.m. Clouds again clear here tonight. Chilly with patchy frost possible in the morning and a low of 33. I'm meteorologist Caitlin Harvey with KETV Newswatch 7. More with Connor and Josh after this. We're going to have an extensive professional relationship, my man. On 1620. <laughs> The Zone. I have never seen this before. Hi, John with Saul's Jury and Loan. The price of gold is the highest it's ever been. Now is the time to get the best price on your broken jewelry, chains, and diamond jewelry. Saul's has been around a while, and trust us, now's the time. Saul's Jury and Loan. OSI Oakland is hiring maintenance mechanics for all shifts starting at $22.50 an hour with a retention bonus for all new hires. OSI Oakland offers great benefits including medical, dental, vision, and 401k. 
plus a retention bonus. Apply now at osigroup.com slash careers or at their plant Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Must have ID and wear closed toe and heeled shoes to enter the plant. OSI is an equal opportunity employer. Bonuses are subject to eligibility and program requirements. My taco pie is really something special, and it can't be imitated. It starts with my zesty taco sauce, seasoned beef, onions, lettuce, tomatoes, mounds of cheddar, and mozzarella cheese. This pie is the real deal. For a limited time, build your own feast with a specialty pizza, like my taco pie, a one-topping pizza, and cinnamon monkey bread. Do yourself a favor and order. Today, Godfather's Pizza. Do it. It's the sale you wait for all year. It's the 42 Degrees 420 sale. And this year, the sale is hitting a new high. For three days only, this weekend, get 42% off the entire store. Say what? You heard right. 42% off the entire store. Exclusions apply. This is a sale that can only happen at the home of 420. 42 Degrees. It's the 420 sale going on now at 42 Degrees. Your dispensary for top-tier cannabis, second-to-none product selection, and exceptional service by your mom's house. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is available right at your fingertips in Iowa. The Circus Sports Iowa app is sports betting the way it should be. Bet anywhere in Iowa and experience high betting limits, tight money line splits, and exceptional customer service. Download your new bookie today. Visit circusports.com and start betting like a pro from anywhere in Iowa. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-238-7633. The most wonderful time of the year is upon us again. No, not Christmas. Oyster Fest at Shuck's Fish House. This Wednesday and Thursday, get $8 a dozen East Point oysters plus many other specials. All three locations. Find out more at shucksfishhouse.com. It's spring, which means out with the Arctic cold and in with the heat and humidity. So much humidity. You're ready for the temp change, but your AC? Not exactly. Well, this Burton Bow goes for you. For a limited time, buy an AC with Burton, Omaha's best for 19 years running, and get a furnace free. And that's a great deal, because it will be cold again. Schedule now at justcallburton.com. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Hey, it's Afro for the FanDuel Sportsbook, and it is time. The NBA play-in tournament is here, and it gives teams the chance to play their way into the postseason, so it seems only fitting the new customers on FanDuel Sportsbook can play their way into 150 bucks. All you have to do is place any $5 bet, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets, win or lose, to use during the rest of the NBA playoffs. Tuesday playing games, Lakers, Pelicans, Warriors, Kings. Wednesday playing games, Heat, Sixers, and Hawks, Bulls. That's right, any bet on the board, take a LeBron prop, assists, points, three-pointers, made over, under totals, first basket scores, anything under the sun. It's right there for you in the FanDuel Sportsbook. Get yourself primed for the NBA playoffs with the FanDuel Sportsbook. Just head to FanDuel.com slash Happer and get started. FanDuel, the official sports betting partner of the NBA. 21 and over, present in Iowa. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is now withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. EquitableOnline.com. We will see if we can get a hold of Sipple. Maybe I'll receive a text in 15 minutes that says, hey, can you do like 125, 130? I got jammed up. I, I just got all bogged down, jammed up. I, w- I would have thought that the postcard that I sent him, the very nice postcard mm-hmm. that I sent him, would have bought us a couple more weeks of on-time interviews. Not the case. Not the case. I do have something else to talk about, though. Oh, good. Which is good. And it's not helmet technology, okay? And don't put it in the newspaper that I'm mad. Not mad. Not mad. I had to go and <laughs> I had to walk outside during the break because I inadvertently pulled a hangnail during that segment. That's how mad you were. Now I'm bleeding. Those are annoying. Oh, absolutely. So annoying. It had to go. But now I have to deal with the aftermath and the blood, the piles and piles of blood. Let me ask you this question, Husker fans. 
in the aftermath of Trev Alberts leaving Nebraska, I think we got a little bit emotional. Oh, Is that think? fair to say, Josh? You think? Is that fair to say? Very. And there were some people who took it as far as this stadium project, this $650 plus million dollar South Stadium project, was a bad idea in the first place. And it was Trev's vanity project. And uh, Trev only wants this because of this, this, and this. And I don't like whatever, whatever the reasons were. But basically, you guys had convinced yourselves that everything Trev did retroactively was bad. And the introduction of the $650 million stadium project was a bad idea. Now, the I, I think the, the legitimate complaint, what? What are you laughing at? A uh, random comment from YouTube. Okay, hold YouTube. on. We'll, we'll yeah, get there. Yeah, in a yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the legitimate complaint is that maybe you are stressing donors a bit too much with the back-to-back asks of build football facility and build new stadium, build South Stadium over again. I think that's a fair complaint. But to retroactively go back and say, Trev, 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 he, everything he did was bad because he's a traitor and we hate him. Benedict Alberts, take his name off the stadium. And because of that, the idea of the football stadium project sucked, I believe, was a little bit short-sighted. I think Nebraska needs a new South Stadium. I think Nebraska, at the very least, needs to make significant improvements to their stadium in general. And I saw this yesterday. The University of Missouri has revealed their plans. That's right, Missouri has revealed their plans for a $250 million plan to upgrade for Rowe Field at Memorial Stadium, by the way. That's our name for our stadium. Remember when Nebraska was in the Big 12 and everybody had Memorial Stadium? Everybody. Everybody had Memorial Stadium. And everybody did this, the wave thing. (laughs) Uh, There's only one. How many other Memorial Stadiums are there? I guess there's two others in the Big 10, right? Illinois and Indiana, aren't they both Memorial Stadiums? That sounds right. I know Illinois is. I I want to say that Indiana is too. Or maybe they redid it to like something something family stadium at Memorial Stadium. Illinois, Indiana. Bang. Look at that. I know my stadiums. I'm Connor Happer and I know stadiums. And wherever the hell Northwestern plays. A parking lot just outside of might be a memorial parking lot. That was that was never a memorial stadium. Though. No, it wasn't. No. Maybe are, are they going to have a memorial stadium this year? Uh, no, mo- it's their memorial pra- it's their practice, practice field. Practice field. Okay. Congratulations once again to Northwestern on their new digs. The University of Missouri officially set in motion Memorial Stadium's reimagined North End Zone on Thursday as the UM System Board of Curators and unanimously authorized the design of the potential of the $250 million project. Officials unveiled renderings for the space slated to be finished in October of 2026, which would be the 100th anniversary of its old-ass stadium. Nebraska, also old-ass stadium. South Stadium, untouched by untouched by anybody, untouched by human hands in 100-plus years. It just sits, just as it did in the 20s, basically when it opened. I guess they added some seats somewhere along the way. Um, but I'm looking at some of these renderings, and I got to say, like, our, my memory of Fro Field is uh, garbage. Not much going on there. Just a straight up bowl. They had the stupid M made out of rocks in the end zone. A rock and M. That's it. Diamonds in the end zone. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid field. I'm looking at some renderings right now, and I'm thinking, this is sick. This is awesome. They got a whole bunch of standing room. Um, looks like some like loge boxes that are kind of, you know, they have suites on the field level behind the end zone. They have kind of loge like table seating um, in the in the stands in the corner end zones, and then a whole bunch of standing rooms and two tiers on the bowl and a big old scoreboard on top. This thing looks beautiful. Nebraska needs something like this. Nebraska needs to update their stadium. I, I, I want to bring this up again because I think people like, you know, and, and, and they did the Board of Regents meeting today. And um, uh, the new athletic director, Troy Dan, and he slipped, his, slipped my mind for a second. Is, is he real? I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
he was asked about the stadium project and he still didn't have comment on it because he was still quote unquote getting up to speed. Um, but this is a sweet project, man. Nebraska needs to do something like this. They need to update their their football stadium still while still keeping the the general feel and idea of like, hey, this is this is a place that's all about football. But are you kidding me? This people would gobble this up first of all. It would make Nebraska a significant amount of money. And it would look really cool if they had some of the field level suites, spaces to walk around. I mean, that's one thing we have none of inside of Lincoln's Memorial Stadium. There's no standing room. You, you, you have to sit your cold, frozen ass on a bench, and that is your seat, unless you're in the west uh, balcony or the east balcony now, I guess, too. That's it. That's all you get. There's no opportunities for, you know, we talk about what about the families all the time. The families, like, sometimes it's appreciated if the kids can get up and walk around a little bit and stretch their legs. That way they're not yelling at you the entire game because they're uncomfortable and they don't have any room on their, on, in, on a cold day. Like, all right, cool. Let them go walk around. They go play around in these, in these kind of standing room areas all around the field. You could also buy standing room tickets, which would be, you know, cheaper um, to get into than just an, a normal seat in the stadium. Like, I just want to re- reiterate this. Nebraska is going to have to do something with that at some point. All right. Let's let's not forget about it. This is coming around and it's it, only going to get more expensive. It will have to be done. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, let me ask you this question again. You you guys are telling me that you don't want this? All um Josh, I don't know if there's a way that you could get the get the uh, renderings onto the onto the YouTube stream right now. I could, um, which uh, the Missouri renderings? Yes, the Missouri renderings. Uh, I, I have. I'm looking at a whole bunch of photos from the Missourian, the Columbia Missourian. Yeah, uh, talk amongst yourselves for a little bit. No, well, just me, but I'll I'll talk amongst the other people as well. Um, so there's a bunch of pictures from there. Um, we'll we'll try and get them up here on the YouTube here in a second. But once again, don't tell me that you don't want this. This is awesome. This is great, and Nebraska has the perfect space in South Stadium to do this, and. Um, like don't let your don't let your hatred or whatever it is of Trev and his big ideas come out as lack of support for this. Nebraska needs this. Um, and by the way, I was doing some reading on this because I wondered where the funding came from because I know a lot a big part of the conversation was about stressing the donors and stuff like that. Obviously, it's a huge project. They're getting half of it. They're they're funding half of it themselves, and they're getting help on the other half. I would assume that that's what Nebraska would do as well. Obviously, we live in a certain political climate. A 50-50 in, split. Yes. Obviously, we live in a sort of political climate in this state. This is part of the reason why Trev isn't here anymore. Um, but, you know, they're, eventually, it's the rubber's going to meet the road on this. And you just hope you're able to get out in front of it before you really, really fall behind. Costs are only going to go up on the entire thing. Like, Nebraska's going to have to pull this parachute. Look at this beautiful stadium rendering. You put it up? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Go to, Look at down here on the field level. Look at all that space. All the people Open in the corners areas. over there. Yeah. Imagine going to a Missouri football game. I know, unbearable. But I know. But going the there rock, and having fun. The rock thing would be above you. That's right. In your open air. You wouldn't even have to look at it. (laughs) It'd be awesome. So just wanted to make that, that, that clear guys. Don't, don't get your hatred for Trev all mixed up in stupid other stuff, uh, other emotions. Like that's a good idea. That is a good idea. I understand it may have been too much too soon, but that is a good idea. What, what he had laid out. Um, And I hope it happens or I hope they're able to do some version of it. Um, and I hope that happens soon. A couple texts here. This is from Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Trev's problem was he was going too big. Obviously, something needs to be done, but not to that extent. Another text from the 402 along the similar lines. Uh, Missouri Stadium plan is $400 million less than ours, and they're putting that extra $400 billion to go use and win in Curtin. Great text, by the way. 
Okay, that track. We gotta spend four uh, million dollars and win it. And Cruton. Do you see that I bet they're probably saying that at their press conference. They're like, well, Nebraska just introduced this six hundred and fifty million dollar stadium project. I'll tell you what, we're gonna do it for a quarter of the cost, and we're gonna spend the rest of our money that we didn't spend on this stupid stadium to go win and croot. So here you go, Eli Drinkwitz. Take that extra money. Might be something to that. Okay. Okay. Text from uh, Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Uh, hi, guys, Connor and Josh. Sounds like you wanted you want to gentrify South Stadium, move the poor people out. No, I don't. Who said that? I said standing room only. Get the standing room only going. SRO. I'm a poor person. I can't afford season tickets. Incredibly poor. Yes. Yeah. So, like, well, when I'm going to a game, well, you guess, sit up in your yeah. That's uh, different. In that, your, don't don't in talk your about high me. tower. I'll talk about me. But like, uh, by the way. Th- you know, that's probably getting close as well. That would be the next in the rotation of the stadium. But... Trust me, that'll get done real quick. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you can have this as an all-encompassing, like, family type. Like, it, it's, yes, it is for people with um, who want a suite or, um, you know, a loge box or whatever. Like, there will be big money stuff going on over there. But I think also you can make it a place. I mean, look at the, put the Missouri rendering back up. Like. Look at look at all those people standing. Yeah, there's not a lot of seats yeah. on, on this particular side of the end zone. I love that idea, man. I, I love a sort of walkabout. Um, it's it's natural, and you could stay engaged. And imagine that place, you know, twenty people deep. And um, you know, on a game day when Nebraska's you know playing for something big or something like that. Like I think that's a I, I think that's a good thing. Imagine Brad Smith lighting the first firework. <laughs> or Chase Daniel banging a large drum. It's all a possibility now mm-hmm. in Missouri. Well, in 2026, anyway. Tony says uh, South Stadium needs to be done. Uh, Jefferson Steelflex says so much room for activities. And Tony comes back and he says, as someone who sat in South Stadium for a few years, it takes at the quickest half a quarter just to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, as someone who sat in the 90 whatever row for the student section because I didn't want to be a nerd and get there three hours before the game and wait in line. I wanted to drink beer like the rest of the college kids. Like an adult. So I had to sit in the 90th row for all these games and not a real fan. Well, I what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, Josh? I every time I had to go to the bathroom, which was a lot because of the drinking. Of drinking. I had to <laughs> run down the stairs. It's like a mile, it's like a I feel like I was rocky. You know, running back up the stairs, I get back to the top of the mountain. I go like this. Yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. Adrian! It's very, very difficult to do. And so, yeah, all, all I'm asking is that the stadium gets a little bit more uh, user-friendly, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I suppose is a good way to put it. Uh, Texter Jeff writes, and Happ and Kathy both thinking of the children. That's right. That's right, Jeff. I am thinking of the children when I say these things. Glad somebody is. So just I just wanted to put that back on your guys' radar. This is gonna have to happen at some point. Not it doesn't have to be the full 650, whatever, but keep in mind there's gonna be costs involved with this. Um where they're gonna have to blow blow it up in South Stadium, and that's gonna cost you some more money. So Nebraska's gonna have to sp- like I'm sorry, Nebraska's gonna have to spend a lot of money on this. And some of it might come from the taxpayer. You are you have once again been called to support your football team with a with a quarter cent tax on a on whatever. If only we had an economist in the governor's chair. <laughs> oh wait. Nice Josh. Uh by the way, I got a list tweeted at me uh oh. from Joel. Thanks, Joel. We love a list. Do you know all sixteen memorial stadiums in college football? Not a chance. All right, so I got I got Indiana, uh-huh. I got Illinois, uh-huh. I got Kansas, Nebraska. We, we got Nebraska, we got Missouri, so we got five. That's five. Okay, come on, rip, rip me off a couple more, Josh. I know you got this. I I want you to get to ten. No, couldn't. couldn't. No, you couldn't. just said no. Couldn't I can't possibly. do it. Uh, does Wyoming ring a bell? Wyoming does ring a bell. Wyoming, War Memorial Stadium. Oh, War Memorial Stadium counts. Yes. Now. Also, also, they're counting USC 
Memorial Coliseum. Oh, okay. Texas, they don't call it Memorial Stadium. They call it DKR, Texas Memorial Stadium, whatever. Arkansas, uh, one of the schools in Arkansas plays at War Memorial Stadium. Iowa Westerns wow. won two national no, champions. That's, that's in Little Rock. That's not FBS football, Josh. Give me a break. It's a big stadium. It's not. It's not for the big. It's not for. It's not for Jura hmm. and his boys. It's not. Uh, Memphis Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Hmm. Uh, North Carolina Keenan Memorial Stadium. Oklahoma should have gotten Oklahoma oh, Memorial yeah, Stadium at yeah. Owen Field, but people just call it Owen Field. Um, okay, the only one so far I feel bad about not getting is Oklahoma. Clemson. Frank Howard Field at Clemson Memorial Stadium. Cal, California Memorial Stadium. New Mexico State, Aggie Memorial Stadium. You're putting all these words in front of it, man. Navy plays at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Thank you for your service. Nebraska, as far as I could tell, has the only one that's named just what well, Nebraska, Nebraska, Illinois, Indiana. Yeah. Memorial Stadium, mm -hmm. just flat out. When you say it, you know, just like the Mets jerseys. Oh. If you know New York, you know. All right, I got, I got that. We can put that on the screen in the next segment. Yeah, let's let's, let's do that. Let's have a little bit of a, a little bit of fashion talk. We won't spend too much time. Finally, on. fashion talk. Uh, and oh, you can get all your Taylor Swift takes out too. Oh, okay. Now? No. Oh. Uh, in the next segment. Okay. Potpourri. Ooh. Next on sixteen twenty the zone. The Connor Happer Show. Follow us on Twitter at Happer Show for all the latest news and views. We may even say something interesting once in a while. Unlikely. Really, guys? Remember, no matter how you listen, it's still AM radio. 1620, the zone. Spring is sprung, and you know what? You need to look good. You need to get your fit looking like rad. And Lily Clothing and Well Suited can take care of you because you got prom, you got graduation, you got weddings, and you need to look your best. And you can look your best right now. Why rent a suit? Buy a suit. And you know what? You can get a suit for as little as a $199 at Lily Clothing and Well Suited in the London Market, 132nd and West Dodge. Take care of yourself now. Why rent when you can buy this season at Lily Clothing and Well Suited? Is your concrete cracked or uneven? Hey everyone, Coach Greg McDermott here to explain why you should choose Everlevel Concrete Repair. Many people think they need to replace broken concrete, but repairing it provides durable protection and comes at a fraction of the cost. Everlevel provides permanent repair solutions to fix your concrete and protect it against future damage. And it all comes with a long-term transferable warranty. They offer free inspections to walk you through the entire process. Call Everlevel Concrete Repair today. You're sitting with a couple of pals at Backlot Tap House in Exarban Village when your server brings up this perfectly cooked smash burger. The smell of a juicy beef patty sends a waft of aroma right up your nose and your eyes instinctively close because, well, awesomeness. Your friends get their orders and you just kind of look at each other and think, yeah, this is going to be good. Backlot Tap House with 30 beers on tap, happy hour every day, trivia nights, live music, and more. Exarban Village and BacklotTapHouse.com. Omaha Maverick baseball and softball are on fire. Baseball has won their last three conference series and lead the Summit League in conference wins, while Maverick softball has won 20 of their last 22 games. This weekend at Maverick Park, baseball takes on Northern Colorado, and Maverick softball plays Kansas City. Baseball Friday night is $4 Fridays when soft drinks, beer, popcorn, hot dogs, and brats are all $4. Get your tickets for baseball and softball by calling 402-554-MAVS or by going to omavs.com slash ticks. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through HIMSS, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at HIMSS, so is treating it. Just go to HIMSS.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. 
To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Many people go back to the dealership out of habit or because they think the dealer is the only one who knows how to fix their car. At Omaha Car Care, we offer a better option. We have ASE certified technicians, the technology to service any vehicle, and free loaner cars. The dealer will sell you a package of services. We'll provide the service you want for your car as your trusted partner. I'm Rick Betker, owner of Omaha Car Care, and we'll be along for the ride. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than their worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor, and Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash sports. Ramp.com slash sports. R-A-M-P dot com slash sports. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply. Let's get back to the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Here comes the clown. A couple comments that I didn't get to on Memorial Stadium and frozen butts. Jack John. Hi, Jack John. The worst part about the bench seating is when you end up next to a frozen butt that takes up 1.5 butt spaces, and then my frozen butt is trying to squeeze into one point or 0. 0.5 of a butt space. That's true. That's There's true. no doubt about that. It happens all the time. With the undefined seating like that, yeah. Hockey Dad. Hi, Hockey Dad. There's no question Memorial Stadium needs a massive overhaul, and South Stadium is a complete dumpster fire. I have no problem with it, and people are going to have to deal with it. Get over it, Karens. Oh. Yeah. I think maybe it just will take some time in the aftermath of of the Trev thing. I really think that's the root of it. I think people were just like, nope, we didn't want to do that anyway because Trev said it was good, and everything that yeah. Trev said was yep. good is actually now bad. 100%. I, I really think that's a major part of the, the equation on this. So give it a little bit of time. and I think they'll eventually find a plan that works for everybody. All right. Uh, Taylor Swift dropped a new album. I have something to say about Taylor Swift. Don't say it, Josh. Do not. Well, I haven't said well actually, she dropped two albums. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, she I, did. That's just factual. It's one. It's one super album. One double album. One double album. It's not two albums. Sure. That's fine. 33 tracks. All right. So here's my thing. How can we tell after five seconds of listening to a 33 track double album being released that it's an instant classic? Uh, that's a fair point. The answer is that we cannot. I'm sure it's fine. Also, all of her songs are seemingly way more about the things that she mentions now or the little riddles that she likes to hide in her songs rather than the actual way the song sounds now. I don't like where we've gotten with Taylor Swift. It's oh. all a big like comment on 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 something else. Oh, Connor. Not she's the, always saying something. Not, I mean, she straight up told Kim Kardashian to bleep off. She said that in the song. Well, not that exact oh, phrase. That. But straight up. I thought it was straight up. She now. said, your kid comes home singing my songs. Wow. Only one person that can be about. Okay. So who'd she go after? Because oh. this is basically, this is what she does now. She just drops diss tracks. Yes. Yeah, she eviscerated her enemies more efficiently. That's stupid. Than, I don't care about that. More efficiently than Drake ever has. I don't care about the Drake, Kendrick Lamar, whatever the hell thing is. Just make good music. And she has come she has so you're telling me it's good oh is it an instant classic i don't as know about rolling that. stone said it's a sad album so like you kind of have to like be in the mood for something sad like it's not upbeat and poppy like 
hey i haven't heard it, any of it it's summer let's dance like, i'm it's sure not it's that. fine i'm sure it's fine i mean she but th th this is not what people care about anymore they just all i see now i don't i haven't heard any of the songs at all all i see is people posting the lyrics mm -hmm. yeah on twitter because she called one of her exes the smallest man who ever lived who cares she's I'm got pissed. she likes to talk smack on people yeah. i guess in and songs she, she's good she's a wordsmith also uh there's a, there's a couple songs in there that are clearly about travis kelsey that girl's in love okay now hold on josh <laughs> this is this is this is more of a you thing uh, i want you to because you have been a pretty staunch kayfabe guy mm -hmm. um so what was that i think she might love that boy or at least want me to think she loves that boy mm. Mm. awful lot of football references so i, I believe the... she said you know ball too i'm looking up i'm trying to talk to you <laughs> and look up the lyrics too at the same time you know how to ball i know aristotle damn it what is the period of time in which she wrote all these songs is it like 10 days um it is a allegedly like less than a year at the right before the start of the era's tour and the start of the era's tour which would have been what last summer yeah and uh, a lot Wait, of she it... did before the start yes yeah but i thought she wrote about travis kelsey she didn't know about well, travis kelsey once, until the era's tour. yeah once the era's tour started she wrote she wrote a few more okay she ripped off a couple more yeah um where'd she come up with this stuff man boy she was she she really seemed to like that maddie healy guy that nobody else liked she did. Yeah. I mean, whew. really? Anybody else that she uh, talked about? Well, Joe, Joe, Joe won't be hearing from him ever again. What happened? Did, did, did she kill him? There are many references to, I wanted to kill him. Jeez. And, and now she doesn't name him, obviously, but. What about uh, Jake Gyllenhaal? Did he come out scotch free on this one? He, yes, this album, Jake Gyllenhaal, is scotch free. No reference to the scarf that I could find. What scarf? See, I don't know about any of this stuff. Connor, he kept her scarf. That's the whole bit. Bit. That's why she's bad at yeah, him. Yeah, that's why we don't like Jake Gyllenhaal. That's why we don't like Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, I thought he did something horrible. Well, I mean, he probably said "I love you" and didn't mean it. And who cares about that? Her. He took her scarf. <laughs> You kidding me? That's right. That's worth a double album just in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you once I'll ask I asked the same question with Caitlin Clark. How do we how how like everybody agrees in society, like this is it. Everything she does is the most important thing. How? How do you get there? And why 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 has society all agreed that this is the one? And that Caitlin Clark is the one. I can't explain it. It's got to be. It's got to be like sixty-five percent luck, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, but Caitlin Clark. I, I, I make sense. She's the best basketball player. She's the best women's basketball player. Taylor Swift's the best songwriter. Is she? All I hear is her talk about rhyme and car and bar together all the time. <laughs> she rhymes car with bar in every song. She does. I mean, that's probably happened more than once. Yeah, sure. Way more than once. Way more than once. <laughs> I wish that was an easily searchable thing. How many? I bet it is. Are you kidding me? The internet. How many times has Taylor Swift rhymed car with bar? Every time Taylor Swift rhymed car with bar, it's a minute long video. This is a story from Medium. Taylor Swift sucks and I can prove it. Taylor. <laughs> Hold on now. Will you Taylor has rhymed car with bar in just about every song she could fit into. Cruel Summer, Cowboy Like Me, mm -hmm. Hits Different, Getaway Car, Cornelia Street, Fall Back on You, and Cardigan all rhyme car with bar. <laughs> This uh, is all she does. That she's a genius. Easily... She's a genius songwriter. She rhymes car with bar every time. So does Billy Joel. Because he loves cars and bars. I just like Billy Joel. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you, he's like the greatest songwriter. What of all do you time. like about Billy Joel? I don't know. I just like that I could. I, I like that he plays the piano really well. Mm -hmm. and so does I, Taylor. And I like 
that I can do some woes and odes in this song. Okay. There's okay. whoa, you know, some, some stuff like that. Like they're good sing along songs. Okay. They're good sing along songs. Why doesn't she try far, scar, Ooh. star, jar, guitar, a bizarre, of, a lot of rhymes there, memoir, the AR sound, superstar. She could do any of those, but nope, car and bar. Afar. That's all she does, afar. She's no genius, Josh. <laughs> She's rhymed car with bar six times. Six times! You really found it. out something about ourselves today. <laughs> Jason and Bender. Hi, Jason. Uh, if she could start rhyme, if she could rhyme strawberry and banana together, then she may have something. That's right. Try something challenging, not just car with bar. Amazing Daniel writes in. He's of music. He is. Hey, Bon Jovi rhymes you with you. Has three separate songs where every word in the chorus ends in you. Lil Wayne does that a lot where he <laughs> rhymes the same word with itself. <laughs> See, that's funny. Nobody claims that Lil Wayne is the greatest songwriter of all time. There was we just time, take it for what it is. There was a time where he had the moniker best rapper alive. Well, yeah, it's, it's really good because the songs are good. So there you go. That's my critique of the uh, Taylor Swift album. I'm sure it's fine. It's pretty good stuff. It's sad. Oh, it's sad. It's yeah. It's a it's a breakup album. Great. Now everybody's gonna be sad all summer. All summer long. This is ridiculous. She literally is controlling the temperature of the entire country. Hmm. I hadn't thought about it like that before. She is. Yeah. Everybody walks around. They get a little sad today. Blame Taylor Swift. It's gonna be sad girl summer. Travis, not break up with her. We're going to have a real problem. Oh, real yeah. problem. Because I will tell you all. You'll have a lot of diss tracks against you at that point. I was right. She just writes diss tracks. She does. Uh, Stibbs writes in. Hi, Stibbs. Can we get a Pearl Jam album review? I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, Yeah. So we gotta, We should see how many weird. How many times has Eddie Vedder rhymed <laughs> car with bar? The problem with Pearl Jam is you can't understand a thing they're saying. I took a car. Right. I took it to the bar. They, also, they change the lyrics to their songs routinely. Just all the time. It's like the lyrics don't aren't actually the song at all. Try figuring that one out, scientists. Do a little brain brain exam on that one. All right. There's our review of the Taylor Swift <laughs> album. Go ahead and send us a text if you'd like. 402-951-1620. There's a phone call coming in, by the way, as Ooh. well. Quick break. We'll be back with more next on 1620 The Zone. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. At Sid Dillon Chevrolet, we want you to have the best car buying experience possible. Shop Nebraska's number one volume Chevy dealer group or at SidDillonChevy.com. Together, let's drive. You are what drives us. Sid Dillon. Host is roasting every morning. Host is roasting every day. Since 1972, family owned and locally roasted Host Coffee Service has been roasting the finest coffee for businesses and restaurants. If you're ready to change to a better coffee provider, it's time for Host Coffee. Omaha's best coffee since 1972. Host Coffee is always roasting something good for you. Get ready for warm weather driving with April Tire Deals at Jensen. Save up to $200 on new sets of Goodyear, Cooper, General, Continental, Maxxis, and Kelly tires. Check out Jensen's Money Saver April Tire Deals at JensenTireAndAuto.com today. Omaha Maverick baseball and softball are on fire. Baseball has won their last three conference series and lead the Summit League in conference wins, while Maverick softball has won 20 of their last 22 games. This weekend at Maverick Park, baseball takes on Northern Colorado, and Maverick softball plays Kansas City. Baseball Friday night is $4 Fridays when soft drinks, beer, popcorn, hot dogs, and brats are all $4. Get your tickets for baseball and softball by calling 402-554-MAVS or by going to omavs.com slash ticks. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. I want to learn how to cook, but I keep ordering takeout. 
I plan to rearrange my closet, but I stopped after picking the clothes up off the floor. Accomplishing goals is hard, but when your goal is to learn a new language, Babbel makes it easy. In just 15 minutes a day, Babbel's award-winning language learning app will help you start speaking another language. Start having conversations in as little as three weeks. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Vous êtes tout. Vous êtes tout. Babbel's bite-sized lessons make it easy to learn words and phrases you'll actually use. So when someone asks, how's your French going? You can say, Babbel est amusant et facilite grandement l'apprentissage d'une nouvelle langue. Et cela ne prend que 15 minutes par jour. When you want to really learn another language, it starts with Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Jake runs the family business and likes to take his kids fishing on the weekends. Mike, he never misses his favorite team's game, even though it's not always good for his blood pressure. Paul just became a grandfather for the first time, and he's thinking about retirement. Jake, Mike, and Paul, all good guys. And they are registered organ donors. You see, you don't have to be perfect to help others. In fact, anyone can register to be a donor. There are no age limits or health restrictions, and all it takes to sign up is checking a box when you get your driver's license or hunting and fishing permit. Heck, you can even do it online today. Good guys save lives, and one day you could save up to eight lives as an organ donor and help even more through tissue donation. Get the facts and see how easy it is to register at goodguyssavelives.com. That's goodguyssavelives.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. The Zone Hotline is powered by 42 Degrees, the source, by your mom's house. Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZN Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. See you. See you. Let me do this again so we get a clean take. But we, we know what we want, and we're going to get it. I'm a head coach. We sold out. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Whatever angle you take, it helps. You best be settling in now, partner, because it's time for another Coach Prime update. Young folks got a saying now, I'm him. On the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Oh, good. A day has passed, and we're again talking about Coach Prime. Yeah, it's been a lot this week, Connor. He's gotten the opportunity now to speak on what has happened with his program over the after the last week or so where they've had a lot of his own people, the guys that were um, you know, brought in to do many great things. Have you seen the guys that were bringing in, in the portal, he said last year? Those same guys are now going back into the portal and leaving him, including his starting running back and his starting uh, and a starting defensive back. Um, and more. They lost a, a couple starters to the portal. Over the last few days, Deion Sanders has, like I said, got the opportunity to comment on this. And so I say, and I present to you without comment, that this will indeed be good. Coach Prime, what do you have for us? Uh, you're losing some guys to the portal. What are you yeah. looking forward to reestablish? What position groups are you hunting um, in the transfer portal? I, I wish you guys do a little more homework when you start talking about the portal and understand uh, what we're losing. 
Where do we lose it? I got time today. Where are we losing? Potential starters? Or Potential. Depth. Where? Tight end, running back. You haven't been watching practice, huh? Amen. <laughs> We're good. We're good. I trust uh, the recruiting team. I trust our coaches. And please have some faith in me. We're good. We all right. We all right. What happens with the portal, man, and, and you guys need to know, a lot of people are fighting for backups. When a guy's a starter and he transfers, you got to really think about that. I mean, is he really that? I don't know how many starters have really transferred around the country. Um, I think we got some coming in from visits Oh, they pretty got soon, it. maybe even this weekend. But we can attract those type of players, but I don't think we're losing those type of players. Interesting. And and if we do, we're good. We're good. We're making a big deal out of nothing. I so coach, Adam, wow. <laughs> he did a great job. God. He cut off every possible uh you know complaint I had there. When we get a guy in the portal, it's a good player. Yes. When we lose didn't Stro tell us this yesterday? Yes. When when you get a player in the portal, it's a good, high quality player. When you lose a player in the portal, they suck. It's a bum. They suck. Never mind that they were five stars and you tatted the hell out of them because they came in in the portal and they were those guys when they got there. And now when they leave, they're garbage and they're replaceable. Yeah. So I don't know if everything's going well, but he says, just trust me. All right. And, 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 I think I've earned that. Why, and why trust. wouldn't we? We have all of the reason in the world to trust Coach Prime. How decorated he is as a coach. How impressive they were a year ago. How, uh, how their roster is just flooded with good players that have come out of the portal. So that's what Coach Prime's up to. It's going well. I love, I mean, my, one of my favorite. Back and forth reporter, you know, this is like me saying the new Taylor Swift album is an instant classic. This is an instant classic for me. <laughs> Deion Sanders, quote. How do quote, you know? It just happened. Deion Sanders, quote, you haven't been watching practice, huh? Reporter, we're not allowed at practice. Dion, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Prove my point. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Incredible sidebar. One of the best I've ever heard. Like. He is not in reality. He's not. He's not in reality. He's, like he's he, doing a bit. He is year. not living on planet Earth. I don't. I like. I don't think he. I don't think he lives on planet Earth. That's our Coach Prime update. What uh, an update! Doc says on the uh, text line. What's up, Doc? It'll be even more embarrassing loss now if Nebraska loses to them again this year. Of course, it would be. Yes, it would be more embarrassing if Nebraska lost to Colorado this year. That's right. But it's okay. Like you know, you'll get like you'll get over it first of all, and I don't think they're gonna lose. So there's that. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna lose. And guess what? If they do, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be okay. You guys understand how that works, right? Like if you lose games, if I mean if you lose games for like if embarrassing fashion for like twenty years in a row, say something like that. Like you eventually get over it. Remember, there was just that study. Nebraska gets over losses yeah, in 20 right. minutes. Thank you, email inbox. Every April, every April, we get the Kool-Aid washed upon us, and we're like, oh, great. I don't feel so embarrassed anymore. You'll be, you'll be fine. You take your lumps, smoke your cigarettes inside in the basement after Nebraska loses to Colorado next year, but you'll wake up the next morning, and the sun will still shine. It'll come out. Don't worry. Doc follows up. He says, I'm not worried about the embarrassment. Um, I'm not the one playing the games. Good attitude, Doc. Good attitude. Uh, Jeff also quoting uh, Coach Prime here. Uh, Prime saying, we it is the reason fans need to trust. I mean, guys, he said we all right. I almost want to play it again because I could dissect every little, every little part of it. It's up to you. I mean, your show. 
Ah, we're we're we we're running short on time. It's a good it's a good coach prime update though. Uh, one more from the text line four hundred two. At four hundred two. I absolutely want to come to Colorado, where my where my coach straight up says he doesn't care if backups are on his roster. You don't need them. Yeah. No football player has ever been injured. Yeah. Yep. Don't need them whatsoever. And certainly, depth wasn't an issue on the Colorado football team last year. Yeah, that never showed itself at all. John emails in. Hi, John. When Colorado gets to one in ten this season, will Dion stay around to coach the last two games? Well, the last one game, I guess. If they're one in ten, this guy isn't even trying to play coach, let alone actually coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he uh he said, what did he what did he say in there? Um, something about the visitors coming in this weekend. Yeah, they might be coming in this weekend. They might be coming in next weekend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not my department. Don't worry. The guys we're getting out of the portal are good the guys were losing even though they're five stars and we thought they were really good last year are bad they suck i love it i love it i think he should go further down this hole and then just go down with the ship (laughs) this will be his last year at colorado stay doing this bit as long as you can i want no humility from him i want i want him to never admit he was wrong no contrition i want no contrition whatsoever I don't want there to be a damn story in CBS Sports a year from now that says Deion Sanders has regrets about the way things down at Col- went down at Colorado. No, I don't want to see any of it. I want to see <laughs> I want to see Dion going absolutely down in a fire of himself, like that guy that you were watching the video of earlier. Oh, in front of the courthouse. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, today. Yep. Okay. Uh, quick timeout. Oh, one more comment on Taylor Swift, by the way. Hmm. This one was from uh, Brian. Hi, Brian. How the heck did you know that she rhymes car and bar so many times? Maybe you are actually are a Swifty. We're both of Taylor Swift. I knew it was a thing, and I definitely heard it in Cruel Summer, because I love that song. That song is awesome. It is. I celebrate her whole catalog. Yeah, and then I and then I heard it was a thing. After that, you saw a TikTok about the I car assume. in the bar. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. TikTok mm-hmm. told me that. So shout out to TikTok. Back with more next on sixteen twenty. The zone, but first, the NBA playing tournament gives the team gives teams the chance to play their way into the postseason. So it seems only right that we give you at FanDuel Sportsbook the chance to play their way into one hundred and fifty dollars. Just place a five dollar bet, and you'll get one hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets. That is win or lose to use during the NBA playoffs. So take a look. At tonight's games, why not start there? How about three-pointers made in a game? Uh, Who's going to win the opening tip? First basket score, straight-up odds, overs, unders, and spreads. Anything in between, all you have to do is head to FanDuel.com slash Happer and get yourself started. FanDuel, official sports betting partner of the NBA. 21 and over, present in Iowa, first online real money wager. Only $10 first deposit is required. Bonus issued is non-withdrawable bonus bets, which expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. Previously on Unsportsmanlike Conduct. She has left a mark on the college game that no one else can ever claim. A big part of her story is that she went to Iowa and she didn't go to South Carolina. She didn't go to UConn. That That's, was great for that, the sport. The only time I'm watching is if one of the local teams is playing. She made you want to watch, but you also could sit there and appreciate the greatness and how she changed the way the game looked on the floor. Unsportsmanlike Conduct with John Bishop and Josh Peterson. Weekdays 2 to 6 on 1620 The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from the Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV Newswatch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Cool this afternoon with breezy winds out of the northwest up to 25 miles an hour and a high in Omaha 58. Clouds will increase this afternoon, becoming mostly cloudy, mainly after 4 p.m. Clouds again clear here tonight. Chilly with patchy frost possible in the morning and a low of 33. I'm meteorologist Caitlin Harvey with KETV Newswatch 7. I have never seen this before. Hi, John with Saul's Jury and Loan. The price of gold is the highest it's ever been. Now is the time to get the best price on your broken jewelry, chains, and diamond jewelry. Saul's has been around a while, and trust us, now's the time. Saul's Jury and Loan. Get more with Murphy Tractor. 
Each of our 29 locations offers new, used, and rental John Deere construction equipment, an extensive parts inventory, as well as other complimentary products. We also have a full team of Capstone certified technicians with field service capabilities. Let Murphy Tractor be your first choice for your construction equipment needs. Visit us online at murphytractor.com. Every Friday, we bring you discounts to some of your favorite businesses in Omaha. This weekend's deal is to Timber Creek Pizza Pub and Grill. Timber Creek Pizza Pub and Grill serves pizza with an unforgettable pizza sauce and fresh ingredients and unique combinations of bold flavors. Stop in and check out Timber Creek's family-friendly dining environment while enjoying a popular adult beverage. Timber Creek Pizza Pub and Grill at 178th and Harrison. Head to omahaweekenddeals.com now to get yours. That's omahaweekenddeals.com. You've had your Easter, now have your oysters at Shock's Fish House. The Spring Oyster Fest is this Wednesday and Thursday. Get $13 a dozen Harbor House oysters plus a surprise premium oyster for $18 a dozen. Find out more at shocksfishhouse.com. Omaha Maverick baseball and softball are on fire. Baseball has won their last three conference series and lead the Summit League in conference wins, while Maverick softball has won 20 of their last 22 games. This weekend at Maverick Park, baseball takes on Northern Colorado, and Maverick softball plays Kansas City. Baseball Friday night is $4 Fridays when soft drinks, beer, popcorn, hot dogs, and brats are all $4. Get your tickets for baseball and softball by calling 402-554-MAVS or by going to omavs.com slash ticks. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than they're worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor. And Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to Ramp.com slash sports. Ramp.com slash sports. R-A-M-P dot com slash sports cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze and right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio with ZipRecruiter one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites but more than that ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Hey, Josh, I got a request in for you to sing Jeremy in your Eddie Vedder voice. Jeremy Spokane is <laughs> Good one. Good one. So I hope that will uh, suffice to the audience. You're welcome. I thought it was actually pretty good that that time. Voice I don't know about generation. I don't know about the other time that you were impersonating any better, but that time was pretty good. Thank you. You are welcome. Baseball teams this weekend. You'll be drunk as hell at the Nebraska game tonight, buying all those beers, pissing off Kathy. <laughs> Probably go to the bathroom in the outfield. Okay, now I got a just I just got a text from Steve Sipple that says question mark. What is that supposed to mean? Did it, did something happen where like his phone didn't ring? guaranteed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's he said, "Did I miss you?" Yeah, we called it. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Let's just play this out live on air. Okay. Yeah. We called at 1230. We called you simple. You didn't answer. It went straight to voicemail. It went straight to voicemail. We'll see what that gets back. We'll see what it gets back. So you'll be drunk as hell. You'll be uh, drunk in the back of the car and crying like a baby coming home from the bar. A.K.A. the Nebraska-Maryland game tonight. And um, you'll probably, you know, not be watching Creighton and Villanova because it's on Flow Sports. But um, it is an option. They are big series this weekend for both of these teams who are both kind of sort of struggling right now. Um, And so I'd like to play around with a number between just these two, Nebraska and Creighton. I I think it's possible that they both could get three this weekend. Villanova is a you know pretty mediocre to below below that team. Maryland is what Maryland is, probably a little bit worse of a version than what Maryland has been over the last couple of years when they've been really the Big Ten's representative in the NCAA tournament. They're they're kind of shining star. Maybe they pass the torch this year to Nebraska. So if I told you as a way to combine both of the baseball chats into one. Um, if I told you that I felt like a good number of wins between those two teams this year or this weekend is four and a half, is that too many combined? They each play three games. Feels high. Feels high? Feels high, right? I mean... I don't know. I, I'm setting the bar high, Josh. Should I set that, it? That's a good thing to do, by the way. I just want to be clear about that. Should I set it lower? Let me let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, what if I told you okay, that Maryland I think, is not as good as Maryland passed? No, no. I want to. I, I want five out of six this weekend combined. I'm just going to assume Villanova isn't. They're a, bad. A world beater. No, they're like 160 whatever in the RPI. Okay. Yeah. That. I mean, that should be the goal. Four and a half. That should be. You're the goal. taking the over, or are you taking the under? I will have confidence in my local teams where many people say I don't yep. and say, G- thank you. General Tomanaga five general Tomanaga or whatever. Uh, Admiral, Admiral, Admiral Tomanaga, Admiral Tomanaga. All right. I've received a return. He's leaving. We can stop kissing his ass. Now I received a return text from Stephen M. Sipple. It's an emoji. Many people would like you to the one where it goes do, like this. Do the fake Sipple. Hey, hap that I miss you. I'm going to send an emoji that's doing this. The rock eyebrow. Yeah, it's, it, it is. That's what it is. So, um, didn't have simple today. We, and we don't have time to have him anymore. No. Nah. So that's okay. Maybe his, his phone wasn't working. Dead zone. It happens. It does happen. He's probably out on the hog. No harm, no foul. Five out of six this weekend. Five out of six. Do it. Five out of six. I don't know who's, li- oh, simple. Sipple's listening while he's while I'm reading his texts over the air. <laughs> Hi, Sipple. Did he just call in just then? No. It was a request for some for you to do All right. fake Sipple excuses. Sipple, call 402-951-1620 right now. And um It was supposed to be off the record. And we will t- I-, I just want to check in on you. I just want to see how you are because we have like three minutes left. All right. So call and we'll just see how you're doing. That's all. Five out of six this weekend, drunk as hell at Haymarket Park and throwing beers out onto the field. Kathy's going to be triggered. And it'll be very fun. Um, also, one more thing. We didn't talk about uh, Chucky Hepburn today, but we did mention him yesterday. It feels as if Nebraska is probably not as much in that conversation as maybe we initially thought. Um, it also does feel as if I don't know who the like. It'll be a collab of a of a decision, obviously, and it's a big one. But it does feel whoever gets one is going to get the other between Chucky and Frankie, and, and I, I don't think all three of them are going to be, you know, with Will Kyle in there too. It sounds like Will Kyle, Nebraska, actually has a pretty decent chance with him. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what the weekend holds for him. Uh, for both of those guys, you know, the last that you know, Frankie was at Michigan State last weekend. Then Chucky went into the portal, so maybe that school would be the favorite just off the face of that. 
but we'll see how it uh, how it progresses. It's Nebraska's own version of the Heatles. Like they're all going to go to the same place. That's right. Except for it, the place is not Nebraska or Miami. Miami. Well, that's where the Heatles went. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, Sipple's here. Hey, hey, Sipple, how's it going? I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. What... I don't know what happened. We called and you went straight to voicemail, and we gave up too soon. I wonder what that felt like. Was I on the phone or I don't know? What were you doing uh, exactly one hour ago? That's when we called. I, I mean, I was kind of scrambling around, but I was ready. You know, I was ready-ish. I was, I was mindful of it. I saw the tweet, and I was like, okay, I got to do that today. Okay. Anyway, um, that's 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 a yeah. that's just a mix up. A good show. It's like, it's a fun, it's fun listening. So I almost hated to break in. Well, that's okay. You got any takes on the Taylor Swift album? No, I don't. Um, I just flat don't. I don't even. I think I don't even know any of her songs. Did you know that she came out with an album today? No, I did not. Mm, she did. I, I didn't. That's not exciting. <laughs> did you know? That, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't uh, wasn't Nick saying that Pearl Jam came out with an album today? That's correct. Did you know Pearl Jam came out with an album today? I'm more interested in that, obviously, at my age. You know. Um, Thank you, no. Sipple. Oh, that's why you were singing like that. Okay. <laughs> it's clearly Eddie yeah. Vedder, Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now yeah. it sounded like it sounded very country. I it, I thought that was a country artist. Country Eddie, Eddie Vedder. Well, he's softened in his old age. <laughs> Eddie Vedder. Yeah, I kept thinking Cobain. Like, and I was like, Cobain can't come out with an album. No, he's dead. Right. Uh, are you excited to have a beer at the ballpark tonight? I assume you will. No, I'm not going to the ballpark tonight. I'm headed that way, actually. I got family matters in Omaha, Manawa. You know, Manawa. Manawa. Um, so, no, I'm headed that way. So, no, I'm headed the opposite way. Sad. Well, so you're going to miss out on all the festivities tonight where people will just be drunk as hell watching Nebraska baseball. Is that it's one of the most overcooked stories of the year? Yeah, thank you, thank you, Sipple. Handshake, handshake. Well, we're related, so we probably have similar takes on a lot of things. That yeah, I don't. I, I just I'm I've sort of just looked on in amazement at the like the coverage and the and the discussion. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have beer. Who cares? <laughs> Great point. You would have thought like a five star committed. <laughs> Uh, not here, a life changer. Here's another old man take I had today. I'm not mad. Don't say that I'm mad, but I don't need there to be technology in the in the football helmets. I kind of like when they signal all all the plays in with like a hamburger and a picture of Shrek. I think that's kind of cool. I, <laughs> I mean that I don't. I, I would not be angry at you. I think it's a curious take. I I I I do think in this case bringing college football in line with high school and NFL makes sense, yeah, right? It makes sense. That. Yes, it makes yeah. sense. So I'm, so once again, I'm not mad. mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad because I, I mean, my whole mantra, um, in this right now, in this part of my life is I'm living most of my life as I'm, I'm trying to live it as, as I would have in the seventies, as I did in the seventies. So, there was no technology in helmets then. No. So, I, but again, it, at some point, you do have to deal with certain realities in this world, and I think that's a certain reality you're going to have to deal with. Dudes were throwing 150 pitch complete games every three days. It was awesome. <laughs> it was different, and it was better. I will tell you that Major League Baseball was was definitely more of a thing, and it was fun. There were more personalities. Um, it was, you know, there wasn't any scandal or, oh, there was scandal. I should <laughs> there was no there scandal in the seventies. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was bad. Slip up. Um, <laughs> slip up. That was scandal, but it was better. Everything was, everything was better. Happer, everything was better. Everything was better in the seventies. Something that I say oh all the time God. as a man who was yeah. born in 1992. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, we were talking today on our show here about the top 50 songs of 1972 i can send you the text this thing of the top 72 of the top 50 songs and it's incredible it's like it's 
I don't even know what to say about it. Music definitely better for sure. Oh, half of your God bless you. Yeah, God bless. I'm you. with you there. Uh, okay, thanks for checking in, Simple. We we appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Yeah, let's just. I, I'll try to do better. I, I don't. I we'll don't just call. We'll just keep it. calling you next time. We'll just keep calling until until you block us. That's not me. It's not. I just. I always worry that you think it's intentional or no. I just. I don't know. You know how I am, so it, you're not probably overly surprised. But go on with your show, and we'll do it next week. Okay. Okay. Bye, Simple. Bye. Stephen M. Simple of HuskerOnline.com. You can check out his takes and his work there. It's all great. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll be back. Pull questions, tell you what to watch on 1620 The Zone. I'm a fabulous driver. The Connor Happer Show. I'm one of the best friends you could ever have in your life. On 1620 The Zone. I hate you. The best way to catch all the action is on 1620 The Zone. And no line for the bathroom. Host is roasting every morning. Host is roasting every day. Put your coffee department in good hands with Host Coffee Service. Providing direct delivery and loaned coffee equipment with service programs. If you're ready to change to a better coffee provider, it's time for Host Coffee. Omaha's best coffee since 1972. Host Coffee is always roasting something good for you. Welcome to this episode of RV Ready, brought to you by Leech Camper Sales in Council Bluffs by Lake Manoa. Mother Nature? Oh, I just had to call. We're getting things ready for everyone to head out camping again. Uh There are so many things to see and do, and I know Leech Camper Sales can help. People should go to leechcamper.com and check out the inventory. And the 2024s are all in. Head to leechcamper.com or stop by Leech Camper Sales in Council Bluffs. And don't forget... The coffee's always on. Of course it is. Not to brag, but Progressive's Name Your Price tool is mankind's greatest tool ever. Even better than the wheel. Sure, without the wheel, we wouldn't have modern transportation or funny videos of dogs riding skateboards. But without the Name Your Price tool, we wouldn't have easy access to auto insurance options based on our budget. And, well, cars do need wheels. They also need insurance. And insurance never goes flat. Learn more about the greatest tool ever. The Name Your Price tool at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Not available in all states. Are Nebraska craft beers and ciders important to you? Whether you just love Nebraska brewed beers and ciders or you're a full-fledged craft brewery, there are benefits to membership for anyone with the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild. Their sole mission is to foster and help grow the Nebraska-centric brewing community. Become a member today at Nebraska.beer and help advance the craft beer and cider industry in the state of Nebraska. Find out more about the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild at Nebraska.beer. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Spring is sprung, and you know what? You need to look good. You need to get your fit looking like rad. And Lily Clothing and Well Suited can take care of you because you got prom, you got graduation, you got weddings, and you need to look your best, and you can look your best right now. Why rent a suit? Buy a suit. And you know what? You can get a suit for as little as a $199 $199 at Lonely Clothing and Well Suited in London Market, 132nd and West Dodge. Take care of yourself now. Why rent when you can buy this season at Lonely Clothing and Well Suited? All right, today on the crossover, we'll be having the great soda pop taste test of 2024. Which lemon lime soda will reign supreme? I haven't had seven up in many, many years. Make 7-Up yours. And so I am excited to 
drink some seven up today and compare it to Sprite and compare it to ginger ale. So that's coming up here in a minute. First, the poll questions at Happer Show. Do you love a good beam? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Load bearing beam. Yeah. 65% say yes. They're vital to our nation's buildings. Is this show just a grill waiting for hamburgers to be put on it? I That's yeah. how I always look at us. Yeah, absolutely. 84% say yes. Wow, nice. Does Kathy know that you can buy beer at the movie theater now? Not a chance in hell. 87% say no. And those are the poll questions. Josh, what are we watching tonight? I'm going to watch Kathy mutter to herself in her car on the way home from work today. I'm going to oh, watch man. a bunch of drunk dudes stumble around Haymarket Park. Go Big Red! Yeah, baby. Yeah, Big Red! Uh, NBA playoffs. Playing games tonight. Chicago Bulls, Miami Heat. Nobody's healthy, but they're playing a game anyway. Six yep. o'clock on ESPN. Winner faces number one Boston this weekend. Very meaningful. Uh, Sacramento Kings, New Orleans Pelicans, uh, same story. Nobody's healthy, but they're going to play the game anyway. 8.30 on TNT. So note the different networks there. Everybody gets one mm. tonight. Uh, winner faces the number one seed, Oklahoma City Thunder. Maybe we get Joel Lorenzi on the show next week or something. Oh, honk, honk. Honk, honk. Uh, four game ones in the NBA tomorrow, four more on Sunday. So everybody will have played one opening round playoff game. By the time we uh, meet back here on Monday, uh, NHL, a couple of game ones tomorrow on TBS, four o'clock start between the Islanders and the Hurricanes. That is followed at seven o'clock by the Maple Leafs and the Bruins. And then you will have four game ones in the NHL on Sunday. So not quite everybody will have played a game one in the NHL by the time we meet again on Monday. Baseball this weekend. Angels Reds 540 tonight on ESPN plus Rangers Braves your big series of the weekend 620 tonight on Apple TV six o'clock tomorrow night on MLB Network and then six o'clock Sunday night on ESPN America's team the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco Giants at nine o'clock tonight on Apple TV uh, Mets Dodgers Mets are are they gonna wear those horrible uniforms uh, are they actually debuting them tonight? Are they at home? They uh, no, they're they're in LA. So okay, so I would assume not. So they will not be debuting these monstrosities on uh, the American populace. Very bad today. Uh, so uh, they were at Chavez Ravine tonight, nine o'clock on MLB Network, three o'clock tomorrow afternoon on FS1. College baseball, uh, Nebraska plays uh, Maryland. You can watch the drunk people from the safety. Of your own home. Thank God. Two o'clock tomorrow on Nebraska Public Media. The other two games are on Big Ten Plus if you're interested. Uh, the 2024 Collegiate Gymnastics Championships are 2.30 tomorrow on ABC. Yes, if you're curious, LSU has made the Final Four and all that that implies. Uh, and then tonight, the big one. Eight o'clock. Corny Josh. <laughs> Not me. I'm helping you the audience. Said it. I'm helping the audience. You said it's it. sports on TV. <laughs> we support women. <laughs> I was between a rock and a hard place. Eight o'clock on CBS tonight. A re-airing of the Billy Joel 100th show live at oh, MSG. Yes. In full. In full. You will not have the last 90 seconds cut off tonight. Thank God. Everyone will be manning the switch tonight for CBS. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Connor. That's what we're watching this weekend, and that's the show. If you missed anything, 1620thezone.com is where you can find it. The crossover is next. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you're rolling Charmin, don't you soft on the party. This is more, so roll it back, everybody. Charmin's irresistibly soft and heavy ice. The group is always soft. It's our party party. Charmin's always soft. It's our party Sherman so Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Sherman. Hi, this is Doug Nodgard with Equitable Bank. Great service never goes out of style. When the digital age dawned, many said computers would be able to handle many of the interactions that used to take a person. Boy, were they wrong. How many times have you called your bank and gotten a recording to press one or two? 
not at Equitable. Not only does Equitable answer your call in the first ring, it's answered by a human being. That's because Equitable Bank values its customers. Equitable Bank, we take banking personally, member FDIC. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than they're worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor, and Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash sports. Ramp.com slash sports. R-A-M-P dot com slash sports. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC Terms and Conditions Supply. Your Omaha Stockmen are kicking off their 10th season and have their home opener at Ralston Stadium on April 27th at 7 against their Heartland Football Association foe, the Newton Nighthawks. Their home opener is also their fourth annual Sammy's Superheroes Childhood Cancer Night. This has become a fan favorite night with kid captains and raffle items with a portion of ticket sales going directly to the foundation. The Omaha Stockmen home opener and Sammy's Superheroes Childhood Cancer Night, April 27th at 7 at Ralston Stadium. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 